या गुजरात में डालेंगे सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर इंक्लूडेड एज अ पार्ट ऑफ बिजनेस प्लान कि आपको वो आइडिया आपकी आइडिया तो रेडी है लेकिन आप वो एग्जीक्यूट कैसे करेंगे सो दैट इज वेयर योर बिजनेस प्लान कम्स इन उसके बाद क्या आता है सी इन योर स्टेप फॉर कमेंसिंग वॉट यू आर लुकिंग एट इज रिसोर्सेज आपको क्या क्या चीजें लगेगी फॉर कमेंसिंग अ स्टार्टअप दैट इज वेयर यू विल वर्क ऑन वेन यू आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द बेसिक आइडिया सो नेक्स्ट क्या लगेगा आपके पास आइडिया है आपके पास हाउ टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू अ बिजनेस है देन यू विल नीड द मनी ऑब्वियसली क्योंकि मनी के बिना आपका कोई भी प्लान सक्सेसफुल होने वाला नहीं है सो इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू स्टार्ट अप अव टाइप ऑफ ग्रोसरी शॉप तो दैट मे रिक्वायर ओनली अ फ्यू लैक्स ऑफ रुपीज बट अगर आपको मोबाइल फोन बनाना है नया तो इट विल रिक्वायर कैपिटल एंड क्रोर्स ऑफ रुपीज सो दिस इज द स्टेप वेर यू वर्कआउट की हाउ मच कैपिटल यू रिक्वायर कितना पैसा होना है आपको स्टार्टअप ये करने के लिए देन द फोर्थ स्टेप इज चूजिंग योर बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चर सी आपको अभी बेसिक आइडिया है वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू डू हाउ मच मनी यू आर गोइंग टू रिक्वायर फॉर दैट देन वॉट इज द फ्रेमवर्क इन विच यू विल इम्प्लीमेंट योर आइडिया आप कंपनी बनाएंगे आप एल एल पी बनाएंगे या जो भी एंटिटी बनाएंगे दैट इज योर चूजिंग योर बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज द फोकस ऑफ आर टॉपिक इन द फर्दर स्लाइड्स देन यू विल रजिस्टर योर बिजनेस सी कोई भी बिजनेस होता है इट विल रिक्वायर सर्टन रजिस्ट्रेशन लीगल रिकग्निशन एंड दैट इज वॉट यू विल डू आप रजिस्ट्रेशन करोगे लाइसेंसेज परमिट्स जो भी रिक्वायर्ड है वो लोगे आप पैन कार्ड रजिस्ट्रेशन करोगे आप टैक्स uh, का रजिस्ट्रेशन करोगे एंड ऑल दैट विल फॉलो उसके बाद अलॉन्ग विद योर लाइसेंसेज एंड एवरीथिंग यू विल ऑल्सो आइडेंटिफाई द लोकेशन जैसे मैंने बोला आपको महाराष्ट्र में करना है गुजरात में करना है आपका बिजनेस कैसे करना है दैट इज वेयर यू विल वर्क एट दिस डे फाइनली सी आपके पास बहुत अच्छा आइडिया है बट हाउ विल यू इम्प्लीमेंट इट यू विल नीड अ टीम यू विल नीड समबडी हु गो टू द कस्टमर्स यू विल नीड समबडी हु जो आपके फैक्ट्री लोकेशन पे सुपरविजन uh, करेगा एंड यू बिल्ड योर टीम अकॉर्डिंगली कि कौन कौन आपको लगेगा इफ इट्स इफ लाइक लेट्स टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ ग्रोसरी शॉप अगेन अगर ग्रोसरी शॉप है तो यू विल बी मैनेजिंग द एंटायर बिजनेस बट यू विल रिक्वायर सम असिस्टेंट्स आपको हेल्प करने के लिए ऑन द ग्राउंड आपको कोई असिस्टेंट लगेंगे सो यू विल रिक्वायर अ वेरी स्मॉल टीम मे बी थ्री पीपल और सो बट अगर आपको फैक्ट्री डालनी है तो आपको फैक्ट्री मैनेजर लगेंगे आपको वर्कर्स लगेंगे जो वहां पे एक्चुअल काम करेंगे आपको मार्केटिंग लोग लगेंगे जो बाजार में जाके आपके प्रोडक्ट्स बेचेंगे कस्टमर्स से बात करेंगे एंड अकॉर्डिंगली यू विल स्ट्रक्चर योर टीम फाइनली यू हैव एवरीथिंग इन प्लेस सब रिसोर्सेस है आपके पास पैसा है टीम है एवरीथिंग है देन यू जस्ट गो एंड स्टार्ट योर बिजनेस ओके तो बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चर का सिग्निफिकेंस देखते हैं बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चर मतलब uh, आपके कंट्री के जो लॉज है वो हिसाब से वॉट एवर लीगल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ योर बिजनेस इज रिकोगनाइज इन अ गिवन लोकेशन जैसे आपके वी आर इन इंडिया सो इंडिया के लॉज अपने को लागू होंगे एंड लीगल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ योर बिजनेस इज वॉट यू मीन वेन यू आर डिसाइडिंग ऑन द बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चरिंग ऑप्शन नाउ आप कौन से फैक्टर्स चूज करोगे वेन यू आर डिसाइडिंग ऑन द लीगल स्ट्रक्चर जैसे मैंने आपको बोला कि फर्स्ट इज योर फाइनेंशियल रिक्वायरमेंट्स ठीक है आपको कितना कैपिटल लगेगा सेकेंडली वो टाइप के बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चर को वेदर बैंक विल बी विलिंग टू फंड और नॉट ठीक है फिर सेकेंड थिंग इज लीगल फैक्टर्स आर देर जैसे आपको कॉस्ट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन रहती है ना सपोज सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर जो होते हैं उसको कुछ भी कॉस्ट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन लगती ही नहीं है यू जस्ट टुमारो यू कैन जस्ट स्टार्ट अ बिजनेस एज अ सोल प्रोपराइटर एंड दैट्स इट उसके लिए कुछ इनिशियल स्टार्ट कुछ नहीं होता है uh, उसको कुछ कंप्लायस मतलब आपको कुछ रिटर्न फाइल करने हैं फॉर्म फाइल करने हैं वैसा भी नहीं होता है सो द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी या कठिनाई इज वेरी लिमिटेड एंड यू कैन अकॉर्डिंगली जस्ट गो एंड स्टार्ट योर बिजनेस बट इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग अ कंपनी फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑब्वियसली उसमें कंप्लायसेज ज्यादा है वो कंप्लायसेज की कॉस्ट रहती है एंड योर कॉस्ट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन विल ऑल्सो भी हाई थर्ड एंड मेजर थिंग इज रिस्क जैसे सम बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चर जो है उसमें आपकी पर्सनल रिस्क हाई रहती है आई विल एक्सप्लेन आगे के स्लाइड्स में आई विल जस्ट टेल यू हाउ द बिजनेस रिस्क वर्क 
in terms of on the owners okay because this is a very critical thing uh, when you are deciding on the business structuring options now all these three factors financial legal and risk are all critical but aapke business model se wo linked hone chahiye jaise humne pehle baat ki aapka grocery shop hai to you have a very simple structure aapki uh, factory hai to you will have a complex structure if you are uh, aapko bank agar start karni hai suppose to aapka capital requirement will be very high so obviously you cannot uh, go for anything other than a company form of organization so uh, aapka jo choice of business structure hai that has to be a balance between aapki business need as well as the advantages as and disadvantages of each different structure now uh, these are the basic structural options you have available as per the uh, law currently existing in india one is sole proprietorship we will discuss each of these in a little bit more detail in the further slides so right now just let's go through the uh, options we have so sole proprietorship is one option second option partnership firm hai third option limited liability partnership or as it is called llp it's a um, combination of your partnership as well as company form of organization and fourth uh, option is the company form of organization company form of organizations may be uh, three different types of companies rehti hai and each company has a different impact on the uh, stakeholders jaise private company hai public limited company hai as well as one person company hai सो so, uh, हम आगे के स्लाइड्स में हर डिफरेंट फॉर्म का एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस डिस्कस करेंगे सो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन आपको यू विल हैव अ वेरी गुड आइडिया ऑफ व्हाट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर मे बी सूटेबल फॉर एनी आइडिया व्हिच कम्स टू यू इनोवेटिव आइडिया व्हिच कम्स टू यू लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप सोल प्रोपराइटर आपको सोल का मीनिंग पता ही होगा सोल इज अकेला ठीक है ना सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप मतलब आप खुद सिंगल ओनरशिप में बिजनेस करेंगे दिस इज वन ऑफ द अर्लीस्ट बिजनेस मॉडल्स राइट फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट ऑफ इंडस्ट्री लोग क्या करते थे ठीक है आई एम अ रिस्क टेकर मुझे कुछ बिजनेस करना है आई जस्ट गो है पुट इन सम मनी ऑफ माय ओन एंड स्टार्ट माय बिजनेस दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल मॉडल कुछ भी रजिस्ट्रेशन uh, फॉर्मेलिटी नहीं रहती है इजी टू फॉर्म आज मैंने डिसाइड किया कि मुझे सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप स्टार्ट करनी है मैंने कुछ नाम डिसाइड किया सपोज आई डिसाइड गडकरी ट्रेडर्स ठीक है एंड टुमारो से आई कैन जस्ट स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन इट मुझे कुछ भी कहीं पे रजिस्ट्रेशन uh, नहीं करनी है कुछ नहीं करनी है बिकॉज सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप इज सिनोनिमस विद मी एज अ पर्सन सो सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप एंड इंडिविजुअल आर सेम पीपल दे आर नॉट सेपरेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ इन द आईज ऑफ लॉ उसमें मिनिमम कैपिटल की रिक्वायरमेंट कुछ भी नहीं रहती सो so, ऐसा नहीं है कि आपको पांच लाख रुपया डालना है या एक लाख रुपया डालना है कुछ नहीं आपके पास दस हजार है यू जस्ट स्टार्ट विद सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप लीगल कंप्लायस कुछ नहीं रहते हैं सी वेन यू आर अ पर्सन ऑल्सो आपको आधार कार्ड करना है पैन कार्ड करना है वो वैसे कंप्लायसेस होते हैं बट कंपनी आपके बिजनेस का रजिस्ट्रेशन सेपरेटली सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप में नहीं होता एंड Like we discussed earlier, this is suitable for small businesses. Suppose doctors' ki clinic hai. Now doctors' ki clinic is uh, totally related to the professional expertise of the doctor. So uh, he doesn't need a large team just for running his clinic. So he may go for a for a sole proprietorship business model. Now let's look at uh, iske uh, advantages and disadvantages kya hai. हमने पहले ही बात की कि इट इज अ वेरी कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव बिजनेस मॉडल आपको स्टार्ट करने में ना कैपिटल ज्यादा लगता है ओनली कैपिटल रिक्वायरमेंट इज जो भी आपके बिजनेस के लिए लगेगा उतना ही है सो इट्स अ वेरी कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव मॉडल डिसीजन मेकिंग बहुत इजी होता है सी जहां पे आप किसी और के साथ बिजनेस कर रहे हो तो यू हैव टू कंसल्ट दी अदर पर्सन वाइल टेकिंग एनी डिसीजन बट जहां पे आप खुद ही खुद का बिजनेस कर रहे हो एज अ सोल प्रोपराइटर you don't have to consult anybody else this easy of uh, decision making you will get to know more better when we discuss company form of organization because wahan pe bahut sare decision making ke rules and regulations hote hain 
वन अनदर एडवांटेज विच वी कैन से आपका पर्सनल कनेक्ट होता है विद एम्प्लॉज एज वेल एज कस्टमर्स नाउ टेक द केस ऑफ अ डॉक्टर्स क्लिनिक ठीक है नाउ डॉक्टर विल इंटरेक्ट विथ ईच पेशेंट पर्सनली सो ऑब्वियसली ही विल क्रिएट दैट कम्फर्ट बिकॉज अ डॉक्टर इज अ प्रोफेशनल सो पेशेंट को कम्फर्ट क्रिएट होगा एट द सेम टाइम जो एम्प्लॉज रहते हैं दे विल ऑल्सो इंटरेक्ट डायरेक्टली विद द डॉक्टर सो डॉक्टर विल हैव अ वेरी गुड कंट्रोल कि हाउ हिज क्लिनिक इज रनिंग तो ही विल से कि ओके ये टाइमिंग होगा क्लिनिक का दिस इज हाउ माई पेशेंट्स विल बी डेल्थ विथ एंड ये रिकॉर्ड कीपिंग मैं मेंटेन करूंगा सो ही हैज कंट्रोल ओवर ऑल एस्पेक्ट प्लस ही हैज अ पर्सनल कनेक्ट विद एवरी वन एंड एवरीबडी इज हैप्पी बट लाइक ईच जस्ट एज द सेम गोस देर आर टू साइड ऑफ अ कॉइन राइट तो जैसे एडवांटेजेस हैं वैसे डिसएडवांटेजेस भी हैं सोल प्रोप्राइटरशिप जो होता है उसमें सेपरेट लीगल एंटिटी नहीं होती एंड उसकी वजह से अनलिमिटेड पर्सनल लाइबिलिटी होती नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस टू यू विद एग्जाम्पल आपके पास दो लाख रुपया है ठीक है और आपको बिजनेस स्टार्ट करना है आपने एक ग्रोसरी शॉप स्टार्ट की आपने डिसाइड किया कि ओके मेरे पास जो एक्स्ट्रा पैसा है आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू पुट इन द होल ऑफ मनी मुझे सारा पैसा बिजनेस में नहीं लगाना सो मैंने एक लाख रुपया फॉर द ग्रोसरी शॉप लगा दिया मैंने सामान वामान लिया आई स्टार्ट सेलिंग थिंग्स टू कस्टमर्स अभी सिक्स मंथ्स हो गया नाउ आई हैव सोल्ड अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एट अ लॉस या फिर मैंने जो माल लिया वो मेरा डिस्ट्रॉय हो गया है ठीक है नाउ इज माई लाइबिलिटी लिमिटेड टू ओनली दैट वन लैक नो कल को हम अगर आपने किसी और से माल लिया है एंड यू आर नॉट एबल टू मेक मनी ऑन द अर्लियर स्टॉक विच यू हैव परचेस्ड तो आपको क्या होगा आपका ये वन लैख जो आपने बिजनेस के लिए साइड में रखा है वो भी यूज होगा एज वेल एज जो भी आपकी एक्स्ट्रा लाइबिलिटी होगी दैट विल बी टेकन फ्रॉम दिस वन लैख विच यू हैव केप्ट एज योर ओन सेविंग्स ठीक है तो अगर आपकी टोटल लाइबिलिटी आपने छह महीने बाद सोचा कि ओके okay, मुझसे बिजनेस नहीं हो रहा है आई वॉन्ट टू क्लोज दैट बिजनेस ठीक है तो यू वर्क आउट कि मुझे कितना पैसा देना है लोगों को इन टर्म्स ऑफ द वट एवर स्टॉक यू हैव परचेज तो आपकी फिगर आई 1.2 पॉइंट टू लैक्स की ठीक है तो योर लाइबिलिटी इज नॉट लिमिटेड टू ओनली द वन लैक आपको आपके पर्सनल जेब से बीस हजार रुपया एक्स्ट्रा देना पड़ेगा दैट इज वॉट आई मीन वेन आई से अनलिमिटेड पर्सनल लाइबिलिटी दिस इज बिकॉज की सोल प्रोप्राइटरशिप एंड द पर्सन दे आर कंसिडर्ड एज अ सेम एंटिटी देर इज नो सेपरेशन ऑफ the two entities and इसलिए ये form of business it may be suitable for smaller businesses but the liability is also high in case uh, your business is risky another thing is कि आपके बैंक जो है now if you want to grow your business obviously आप banks को approach करोगे for a loan now sole proprietorship का uh, lending capacity is only uh, up to that extent कि आप collateral दे सकते हो सपोज आपका पर्सनल घर है इफ यू कैन से ठीक है मैं घर एज अ सिक्योरिटी दूंगा तो देन uh, आपकी लेंडिंग कैपेसिटी इज एक्सटेंड टू दी एक्सटेंट ऑफ दैट बट उसके आगे इट इज लिमिटेड टू योर पर्सनल कोलेट्रल गिविंग कैपेसिटी तो आपकी लेंडिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी रिड्यूस हो जाती है व्हेन यू आर स्टार्टिंग अ सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप नाउ See, we discussed ki sole proprietorship mein there are advantages as well as disadvantages. I want to just uh, tell you ki no form of business is bad, huh? There may be advantages, disadvantages, but there are always people who can successfully manage everything. So, iske liye maine aapko just to give you an idea ki how some businesses have grown. And ye aapko sabko pata hai ye type ka business. We will look at the name later. Let's uh, look at the case study. ठीक है? तो ईयर uh, 2007 ठीक है टू आईआईटी दिल्ली ग्रेजुएट्स स्टार्टेड अ सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप उनके पास ओनली फोर लाख रुपीस था और उनकी आइडिया थी दे वांटेड टू सेल बुक्स ऑनलाइन ठीक है नाउ दिस वाज 2007 तभी uh, आज के जैसा ई कॉमर्स कंपनी थी नहीं ओके आई रिमेम्बर कि हमें बुक्स लेनी है तो हमें क्रॉसफर्ड या किसी बुक शॉप में जाके लेनी पड़ती थी सो so, उनकी आइडिया वॉज वेरी नाइस बट दे हैड वेरी लिमिटेड मनी उनको भी पता नहीं था कि आइडिया सक्सेसफुल होगी कि नहीं 
सो दे स्टार्टेड अ ऑनलाइन बुक सेलिंग इनिशिएटिव ठीक है अठारह महीने हो गए मोस्ट ऑफ द वेंचर कैपिटल फर्म्स जिनको उन्होंने अप्रोच किया वेंचर कैपिटल फर्म्स आर कि जो आपको फंडिंग प्रोवाइड करते हैं दे आर इन्वेस्टर्स इन योर कंपनी ठीक है सो किसी वेंचर कैपिटल को आपकी बिजनेस आइडिया पसंद आई तो वो बोलेगा ठीक है आई गिव यू वन मोर क्रॉप यू जस्ट स्टार्ट योर बिजनेस इन अ लार्ज वे तो एटीन मंथ्स लगे लॉट ऑफ वेंचर कैपिटल फर्म्स टर्न दम डाउन बोले नहीं नहीं आपकी आइडिया कुछ ठीक नहीं लग रही वी आर नॉट इम्प्रेस विथ योर आइडिया हम आपको पैसा नहीं देंगे फिर फाइनली 2009 में एक छोटी सी इन्वेस्टमेंट फर्म थी uh, और उन्होंने उनको यूएसडी वन मिलियन डॉलर्स फंडिंग करने का प्रॉमिस किया देन लुकिंग एट दिस फंडिंग दे ऑल्सो गॉट अनदर यूएसडी टेन मिलियन फ्रॉम अदर इन्वेस्टर्स एंड दे एक्सपांडेड इन टू ऑल कंज्यूमर गुड्स ठीक है पहले बुक्स से स्टार्ट की फिर दे एक्सपांडेड इन टू ऑल कंज्यूमर गुड्स ना कंज्यूमर गुड्स में जब बोलती हूँ तभी वॉट आई मीन एस योर पेन्स योर पेंसिल्स योर बुक्स योर शूज एवरीथिंग ठीक है जो भी हम लोग डेली रूटीन में यूज करते हैं एवरीथिंग एंड विथ ये यूएसडी इलेवन मिलियन जो उनको मिला उसमें से उनका बिजनेस एवरी थ्री टू सिक्स मंथ डबल होता गया एंड इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन दे कंप्लीटेड अ फंडिंग राउंड ऑफ वन बिलियन यूएस डॉलर वन बिलियन इज थाउजेंड मिलियन दैट्स अज ह्यूज सम इफ यू ट्रांसलेट इट इन टू रुपीज दैट टर्न इन टू सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड क्रोर्स ऑफ रुपीज फिर फाइनली इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन उनकी फर्म वॉज अक्वायर्ड बाय अ लार्ज यूएस रिटेलिंग जैंट so look at how it has progressed in a matter of 11 years from 2007 to 2018 sole proprietorship se start hui company they turned into a large uh, retailing giant and acquired by a us retailing giant company uh, maybe aapko kisi ko pata bhi chala hoga let's look at which company this was any uh, ideas can somebody tell me kaun si company thi would somebody like to try okay no problem so just let's look at which company this was so uh, ma'am this they have actually mentioned in the chat box sorry they have mentioned it in the chat box okay very good yes so this was flipkart and this is the success story of a company which started as a sole proprietorship ये केस स्टडी है जस्ट टू गिव यू एन आइडिया कि एनी स्मॉल और लार्ज बिजनेस फॉर्म इज नॉट योर बिजनेस फॉर्म इज नॉट डिपेंडेंट फॉर द सक्सेस फॉर योर कंपनी इट कैन ऑलवेज कन्वर्ट इन टू अ लार्जर फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेटर बट जब भी आप स्टार्ट करते हो तभी यू शुड बी वेरी अवेयर ऑफ वॉट यू आर स्टार्टिंग एंड वॉट आर योर रिक्वायरमेंट एज ऑन दैट डेट okay now let's look at second form of business structure now second form is a partnership partnership uh, very common concept aapne suna hi hoga lekin in legal terms let's look at it how it is formed basically it is formed with a business partner very obvious jab bhi aapko aapke friend ke sath milke business start karna hai suppose theek hai tabhi aap partnership ka sochoge <coughs> excuse me Now, uh, आप बिजनेस पार्टनर क्यों सोचोगे वो जस्ट लेट्स डिस्कस ऑन दैट क्विकली सी मैं कंपनी सेक्रेटरी हूँ ठीक है मुझे लॉज वगैरह अच्छी तरह से समझता है बट आई मे नॉट बी एबल टू गो एंड मार्केट माई प्रोडक्ट टू समी एल्स ठीक है या फिर आई एम अ साइंटिस्ट हाँ एंड आई डिसाइड की आई डिजाइंड अ न्यू टाइप ऑफ सेंसर ठीक है या फिर मैंने न्यू टाइप ऑफ मास्क uh, किया ऐसा डिजाइन किया ठीक है बट मुझे ये नहीं पता कि लोगों से जाके कैसे बात करनी है वॉट विल आई डू आई विल टेक अजनेस पार्टनर हु हैज मार्केटिंग स्किल्स एंड दैट इज द रीजन वाई अ पार्टनरशिप इज अ वेरी गुड आइडिया देर मे बी अ पर्सन आई मे नॉट बी वेरी एंथुजियस्टिक अबाउट मार्केटिंग माई आइडियाज बट आई मे हैव अ ग्रेट ब्रेन फॉर अ ग्रेट आइडिया सो 
इट इज अनर्जी सिनर्जी मतलब दोनों के स्ट्रेंथ मिलके यू क्रिएट अ बेटर स्ट्रॉन्ग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दैट इज द आइडिया बिहाइंड ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नाउ पार्टनरशिप भी इट्स अजी इजी टू फॉर्म ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ठीक है रजिस्ट्रेशन इज नॉट कंपल्सरी देर इज एंटिटी कॉल्ड रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ फॉर्म विच इज द रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी फॉर दिस अंडर द इंडियन पार्टनरशिप एक्ट और उसमें रजिस्ट्रेशन कंपल्सरी नहीं है आप जस्ट पार्टनरशिप डीड साइन करके यू कैन स्टार्ट अ पार्टनरशिप बट अगर आपको बैंक से लेंडिंग करना है तो रजिस्ट्रेशन इज एडवाइजेबल यहाँ भी कोई भी मिनिमम कैपिटल की रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं होती यू कैन स्टार्ट विथ फिफ्टी थाउजेंड यू कैन स्टार्ट विथ एज लो एज टेन थाउजेंड एनी कैपिटल इज गुड इनफ प्रोवाइडेड कि आपके बिजनेस आइडिया का कैपिटल का रिक्वायरमेंट इज गेटिंग मैच विथ योर बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चर यहाँ पे भी यू हैव वेरी लिमिटेड लीगल कंप्लायसेज सी अगर आप कंपनी फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चूज करो तो आपको हर इवेंट में कोई ना कोई फॉर्म फाइल करना पड़ता है आपकी इंफॉर्मेशन अपडेट करनी पड़ती है विद द रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी बट जहां पे रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ फॉर्म इज कंसर्न आपके बहुत बेसिक जस्ट एनुअल अकाउंट फाइल करने पड़ते हैं सम रिटर्न फाइल करने पड़ते हैं दैट्स इट सो आपकी लीगल कंप्लायसेज बहुत लिमिटेड रहते हैं नाउ इट इज सुटेबल फॉर फॉर्म्स लाइक सी ए फॉर्म्स लॉ फॉर्म्स है ट्रेडिंग फॉर्म्स बहुत सारे है एंड सम मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सम मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फैब्रिकेशन ऐसे जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रहते हैं दे स्टार्ट विथ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म्स ऑल्सो बिकॉज उनकी टीम रिक्वायरमेंट कम रहती है उनकी फंडिंग रिक्वायरमेंट भी कम रहती है सो इन दैट केस यू कैन स्टार्ट विथ दिस फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नाउ लेट्स लुक एट जैसे लाइक आई सेड अर्लियर ईच कॉइन हैज टू साइड है ना तो हम इसकी एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस भी डिस्कस करते हैं एडवांटेजेस कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव है ज्यादा कंप्लायसेस नहीं है स्टार्ट करने के लिए मिनिमम कैपिटल नहीं है शेयर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है सो लाइक आई सेड कि दो या तीन पार्टनर्स मिलके उनकी स्ट्रेंथ कंबाइन करके दे कैन मेक अ सक्सेसफुल स्टार्टअप कंपनी राधर देन अ सिंगल पार्टनर हु इज नॉट एबल टू वर्क ऑन ऑल एस्पेक्ट्स पार्टनरशिप अगर रजिस्टर्ड हो तो बैंक के लेंडिंग इज आल्सो इजी प्लस पार्टनरशिप में जो बेसिक डॉक्यूमेंट रहता है उसको बोलते हैं पार्टनरशिप डीड पार्टनरशिप डीड में क्या होता है कि सपोज आई फॉर्म अ पार्टनरशिप विथ टू और थ्री ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स नाउ आई एम पुटिंग इन टेन थाउजेंड माई फ्रेंड्स आर पुटिंग इन फाइव थाउजेंड ईच ओके तो वो पार्टनरशिप डीड में लिखेंगे कि आई एम पुटिंग इन half the capital and my friends are putting in 25 25% capital or jo bhi business ka profit hoga uska sharing ratio usme decide hota hai so i will say ki okay maine 50% capital diya hai mujhe 50% profit ka share milna chahiye uh, ya mere friends ne 25% diya hai they may get 25% and this can be structured any which way theek hai main half capital deke agar i am not participating in the business so i can still take a lower share in spite of having a higher capital uh, outlay so ye sab jo uh, positions rehti hai the relationship between the partners wo partnership deed mein define hoti hai but coming to the disadvantages one disadvantage of a partnership firm is there is unlimited joint liability jaisa humne pehle baat ki ki maine 2 lakh mein se 1 lakh business mein lagaye hain theek hai मेरे पार्टनर्स ने भी वन वन लाख लगाए हैं बट अगर एट द एंड ऑफ वन ईयर और टू इयर्स मेरे बिजनेस की लाइबिलिटीज आर मोर देन थ्री लाख सो यू हैव फॉर्म अ पार्टनरशिप विथ थ्री लाख रुपीज ओके तो थ्री लाख रुपीज आपका मैक्सिमम uh, लिमिट नहीं होता है लाइबिलिटी का सपोज आपके बिजनेस में बहुत सारे लॉसेस हुए हैं आपको ठीक है एंड यू एंड अप विद लाइबिलिटी ऑफ फोर लैक्स एट द एंड ऑफ टू ईयर्स तो आपको आपके पर्सनल जेब से आपको वो बैलेंस फंड करना पड़ेगा दैट इज द लीगल फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ अ पार्टनरशिप सो दैट इज व्हाट आई मीन बाय अनलिमिटेड जॉइंट लाइबिलिटी एंड अनदर डिसएडवांटेज जहां पे अनरजिस्टर्ड पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म्स है अनरजिस्टर्ड पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म्स हैव अ लोअर लीगल स्टैंडिंग तो बैंक मे नॉट बी एबल टू फंड देम प्रॉपरली एंड ऐसे उनको बहुत सारे डिसएडवांटेजेस होते हैं so these are some of the disadvantages of a partnership firm now let's look at the next option which is a limited liability partnership jaise 
ये जो है लिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी पार्टनरशिप इज अ रिलेटिवली न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट जैसे सोल प्रोपराइटर इज वन ऑफ द अर्लीस्ट कंसेप्ट उसके बाद पार्टनरशिप भी बहुत सालों से चलती आ रही है एंड लिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी पार्टनरशिप वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस ओनली इन टू थाउजेंड एट दिस वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस टू लिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी पार्टनरशिप एक्ट ना इसका मीनिंग क्या होता है कि ये फॉर्म uh, जो है इट कम्बाइंस द बेनिफिट ऑफ पार्टनरशिप एज वेल एज अ कंपनी फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ना पार्टनरशिप में आपको क्या बेनिफिट है मल्टीपल पार्टनर्स आएंगे विथ वेरियस स्ट्रेंथ एंड ऐसे आपको सपोर्ट मिलेगा फॉर मैनेजिंग द बिजनेस कंपनी फॉर्म का एडवांटेज क्या है देर इज अ लिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी टेकिंग द सेम एग्जाम्पल विच वी डिस्कस्ड फाइव मिनट्स बैक आपने पार्टनरशिप लिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी पार्टनरशिप बनाई ठीक है आपने थ्री लाख रुपीज तीन फ्रेंड्स ने मिलकर डाला पार्टनरशिप में एट द एंड ऑफ टू इयर्स यू वॉन्ट टू क्लोज द पार्टनरशिप और आपकी टोटल लाइबिलिटी इज फोर लैक्स ओके योर रिस्क इज लिमिटेड टू दैट थ्री लैक्स ओनली ओके एंड उसके बाद अगर कोई भी लाइबिलिटी uh, बचती है तो आपके पर्सनल कैपिटल को कोई टच कर नहीं सकता लीगली ठीक है अभी एथिकली यू मे वॉन्ट टू स्टिल पे ऑफ योर डेटर्स दैट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग बट लीगली आपको कोई भी ये नहीं बोल सकता कि आपके पर्सनल जेब से पैसे निकालो एंड आपके लेंडर्स को दे दो एंड दैट इज वन ऑफ द मेन एडवांटेजेस द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ लॉसेस इज लिमिटेड टू योर इन्वेस्टमेंट मेड आपने जो पैसा बिजनेस में इन्वेस्ट करने की सोची है उतना ही आपको लॉस बेयर करना पड़ेगा This form is very uh, popular with CA firms, law uh, as well as law firms. Uh, see, main thing for a limited liability partnership is the critical factor is not the capital, but the number of partners. See, if a law firm is suppose, so law firm will have to have different partners with various areas of expertise. Honge. Those will be critical rather than the money because your service based organization, where your manufacturing based organization is. वहां पे आपको कैपिटल क्रिटिकल रहेगा लेकिन आपकी सर्विस पेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है तो आपको द पीपल और द टीम मेंबर्स विल बी द क्रिटिकल फैक्टर हियर आल्सो देर आर एडवांटेजेस एज वेल एज डिसएडवांटेजेस वन इज इजी रजिस्ट्रेशन है लो कॉस्ट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ये जो फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है दैट इज दंड अंडर द लिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी पार्टनरशिप एक्ट एंड वहां पे रजिस्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस इज सिंपल आपको पार्टनरशिप डीड जैसा डॉक्यूमेंट भी होता है विच डिफाइंस द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन पार्टनर्स यहाँ पे भी मिनिमम कैपिटल रिक्वायरमेंट कुछ नहीं होती देर इज नो लिमिट टू द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ पार्टनर्स विच कैन बी टेकन सो आपकी जो पार्ट लिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी पार्टनरशिप है यू कैन हैव मेनी मेनी पार्टनर्स एंड दैट इज वन रीजन की जो सी ए फॉर्म्स या लॉ फॉर्म्स में दिस इज अ वेरी पॉपुलर फॉर्म प्लस लिमिटेड लाइबिलिटी ऑफ पार्टनरशिप पार्टनर्स सो हमने अब भी बात की कि आपकी लाइबिलिटी इज लिमिटेड टू द इन्वेस्टमेंट मेड एंड इट इज नॉट टोटली एनकम्पासिंग ना वॉट आर द डिसएडवांटेजेस लेट्स लुक एट दैट आपके फंडिंग ऑप्शन बहुत लिमिटेड रहते हैं सी एल एल पी में कैपिटल शेयर कैपिटल नहीं होता एंड दैट्स वाई जो वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट रहते हैं दे विल फाइंड इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू इन्वेस्ट इन अल एल पी Like I said, this form is more suitable. जहाँ पे capital is not a critical factor, but partners or the team is a critical factor. इसलिए there will be uh, limited funding options for this uh, uh, form of organization. And uh, see, this is governed by a separate act, unlike sole proprietorship. So sole proprietorship में ज़्यादा कुछ आपको penalties वगैरह नहीं लगेगी. But LLP में जो basic जो compliances हैं, वो अगर आप नहीं करते हो. so you will be liable for some penalty let's look at uh, just another quick case study this is also a very interesting case study jahan pe uh, we will look at how uh, partners have successfully managed their organizations and they have converted into a large huge business okay uh, this business started in the year 1837 okay there were two brother in laws they were working uh, separately theek hai 
एक जना जो था वो कैंडल मेकिंग बिजनेस में था ठीक है तभी 1837 वाज नॉट द ईयर वेयर लाइट्स एंड एवरीथिंग वेयर पॉपुलर सो आई एम श्योर कैंडल्स वेयर वेरी पॉपुलर एंड इट वाज अ सक्सेसफुल बिजनेस अनदर पर्सन वाज इनटू सोप मेकिंग ठीक है ऐसे दो ब्राजील इन लॉस थे नाउ देयर फादर इन लॉ ही लुक्ड एट देयर बिजनेस ही वाज अ वेरी वाइज पर्सन ही सेड कि अरे आपको जो रॉ मटेरियल्स लगते हैं you both require the same raw materials so why don't you merge your business why don't you work together so instead of see agar candle making mein aapko uh, some xyz raw material lagta hai some chemical lagta hai soap making mein lagta hai rather than two people trying to go and acquire see you have to remember ki this is the year 1837 theek hai baith ke amazon pe uh, order de di ki ye material chahiye aur aa gaya that was not the scenario you had to go and approach the suppliers you had to check the uh, quality of the ye fir money transaction was also very difficult aapko cash ya gold ya aisa leke jana padta tha ya fir note leke jani padti thi so even supply of raw material was a very complex operation at that point of time so their father in law suggested to them ki okay you seem to have a similarity in terms of raw material requirements आपको सेम सप्लायर के पास से लेना पड़ रहा है सो वाई डोंट यू मर्ज योर बिजनेस इट सीम्स अ वेरी सेंसिबल थिंग टू डू सो ठीक है उन्होंने सोचा यस दैट सीम्स अ वेरी वैलिड एडवाइस दे वर ऑब्वियसली बिजनेस सावी सो दे रियलाइज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ दिस एडवाइस एंड दे मर्ज देयर बिजनेस एंड फॉर्म द पार्टनरशिप कंपनी सो फ्रॉम कैंडल मेकिंग एंड सोप मेकिंग दे इवेंचुअली धीरे धीरे एक्सपांड करते थे दे एक्सपांडेड टू हाउस होल्ड गुड्स they expanded to soaps uh, detergents xyz xyz okay and badi large corporate ban gaye huge corporate just look at the next line year 2020 man mein unka revenue figures dekhiye their revenue was usd 76118 million that's a huge amount and as of date as of 2021 they had more than 1 lakh employees the world over now any suggestions uh, what business am i talking about yes correct very good exactly so i am talking about procter and gamble a very well known name as of today but they started as a very small partnership form of organization now look at their exponential growth unhone candles banaye soaps banaye fir मर्ज किया मर्ज करने से क्या हुआ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म में हमने जो बात की सिनर्जीज ऑफ बिजनेस आपका सिमिलर रॉ मटेरियल सप्लायर है वन पर्सन कैन गो एंड डू द रॉ मटेरियल परचेसिंग अनदर पर्सन कैन लुक एट द फैक्ट्री सो ऐसे टाइप के उन्होंने सिनर्जिस्टिक अप्रोच लिया एंड टूडे दे आर ग्रोन इन टू सच अ लार्ज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हमको सबको पता है दे आर ऑल फेमस ब्रांड्स लाइक जिलेट एरियल ओरल बी सब कुछ है राइट right? तो but this was their uh, growth story in the from the year 1837 so why am i giving this uh, case studies to you just to tell you ki uh, all kinds of organizations whether it's a sole proprietor or a partnership or a limited liability partnership they have the capacity for growth the capacity for growth is only linked to how successfully you can अप्रोच योर बिजनेस आइडिया एंड इम्प्लीमेंट योर बिजनेस आइडिया ठीक है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि एनी फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज गुड और बैड जब भी आप बिजनेस स्टार्ट करते हो तभी आपका क्या रिक्वायरमेंट है वो हिसाब से यू कैन स्टार्ट अ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फिर डिपेंडिंग ऑन हाउ योर बिजनेस इज ग्रोइंग उसके बाद आप वो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को कन्वर्ट भी कर सकते हो एंड यू कैन टेक इट टेक द ग्रोथ फॉरवर्ड फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन now let's look at the uh, one of the most popular forms of business organization okay aapko uh, you must be aware ki left right and center apne yahan pe there are lot of companies around right jaise hum products lete hain wo hindustan lever ya procter and gamble ka hota hai you buy uh, toothpaste and toothbrushes from colgate palmolive so all these uh, whatever we use in daily life theek hai you uh, buy cloth from say uh, vimal uh, reliance industries or somebody 
you buy petrol which is made by ioc all these forms are company forms of organization all these are large organizations and they are company forms of organization there are also multiple smaller companies also jaise uh, suppose you are uh, jaise humne doctors ke clinic ka example liya tha theek hai now uh, when you are forming a clinic clinic matlab kya aapka पेशेंट्स आके चेकअप करके जाएंगे ठीक है दैट इज व्हाट इज अ क्लिनिक तो जब भी आपको क्लिनिक फॉर्म करना है आप यू विल लुक एट सोल प्रोप्राइटरशिप एज अ फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट अगर आपको वही डॉक्टर को कल को हॉस्पिटल खोलना है ना हॉस्पिटल खोलना मतलब ही विल रिक्वायर मल्टीपल पीपल ही विल रिक्वायर अ लॉट ऑफ मनी टू ओपन द हॉस्पिटल क्योंकि उसको लैंड लेनी पड़ेगी बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्ट करनी पड़ेगी उसको मल्टीपल इक्विपमेंट्स लेने पड़ेंगे उसको नर्सेस एंड अदर स्टाफ लाने पड़ेंगे असिस्टेंट डॉक्टर्स रेसिडेंट डॉक्टर्स एम्प्लॉय करने पड़ेंगे सो देर विल बी लॉट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इन्वॉल्व इन द एंटायर बिजनेस प्रोपोजिशन तो अगर उसको हॉस्पिटल फॉर्म करना है ही विल प्रोबेबली गो फॉर अ कंपनी फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ठीक है सो द सेम पर्सन जब भी उसको अलग अलग बिजनेस आइडियाज इंप्लीमेंट करनी है तो ही विल चूज डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट as of today the most popular form is a company form of organization there is a uh, specific law which governs the company form of organization it's called indian companies act 2013 there uh, ye companies act ka bhi let me tell you ki uh, for a long time uh, 1956 ka act jo tha wo chal raha tha but finally in 2013 the companies act was amended kyunki Uh, the business scenario was changing very rapidly so the government also realized that and finally a uh, new companies act came in in 2013 abhi companies act mein there are multiple types of company there's something called a one person company uh, it is similar to a sole proprietorship but it has a limited liability so humne dekha two forms which are similar to sole proprietorship as well as partnership one is uh, one person company jo sole proprietorship ke jaise similar hai but limited liability hai usme second is limited liability partnership jo partnership se similar hai but yahan pe bhi limited liability hai so uh, if you look at it you have multiple options for deciding your business structure then you have a private limited company and a public limited company uh, just give me a second ओके okay. अभी क्या है कि लॉट ऑफ पीपल थिंक कि पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी जो है दैट इज लिस्टेड ऑन द स्टॉक एक्सचेंज बट ऐसा नहीं है सी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड कंपनी एंड पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी में इतना ही डिफरेंस है कि प्राइवेट कंपनी इज लिमिटेड शेयर्स जो रहते हैं प्राइवेट कंपनी के दो आर नॉट फ्रीली ट्रांसफरेबल सो सपोज मैंने अपने टेन uh, फ्रेंड्स के साथ प्राइवेट लिमिटेड कंपनी बनाई तो नन ऑफ अस कैन जस्ट ट्रांसफर द शेयर्स टू एनीबडी एल्स विदाउट टेकिंग द कंसेंट ऑफ द अदर शेयर होल्डर्स बट पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी जो होती है उसमें अनलिमिटेड मेंबर्स हो सकते हैं प्राइवेट लिमिटेड कंपनी में मैक्सिमम 200 हंड्रेड मेंबर्स हो सकते हैं मेंबर्स आर शेयर होल्डर्स हु आर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग कैपिटल टू योर कंपनी बट पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी में यू कैन हैव अनलिमिटेड मेंबर्स सो पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी हैज अ एक्सेस टू अ लॉट ऑफ फंड्स तो आपका अगर फंडिंग रिक्वायरमेंट बहुत ह्यूज है तो पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी इज अ वेरी गुड फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड कंपनी ऑल्सो गिवस यू अ वेरी गुड एक्सेस टू फंडिंग बट लोअर देन पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी सो आप कंफ्यूज मत होइए पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी एंड लिस्टेड कंपनी इज नॉट द सेम अ पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी कैन बी अनलिस्टेड ऑल्सो बट अगर आपको लार्ज जैसे रिसेंटली यू हैड अ इनिशियल पब्लिक ऑफर ऑफ एल आई सी एल आई सी नाम तो आपके पास इट्स वेरी कॉमन आपको सबको ही पता होगा नाउ वेन एव एल आई सी डिसाइडेड टू गो पब्लिक तभी इट बिकेम अ लिस्टेड कंपनी बट इट इज नॉट कि ऑल पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनीज विल बी लिस्टेड नाउ वॉट हाउ डू यू फॉर्म अ कंपनी आपको कंपनीज एक्ट के अंडर रजिस्ट्रेशन करना पड़ता है देर आर मल्टीपल डॉक्यूमेंट्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी सबमिटेड बट 
बिफोर यू फॉर्म अ कंपनी आपको क्या क्या देखना है आपको ये देखना है कि हु आर गोइंग टू बी योर इनिशियल शेयर होल्डर्स प्रमोटर्स उसको लीगल uh, फॉर्म में प्रमोटर्स बोलते हैं कि जो कंपनी को इनिशियल कैपिटल देंगे एंड हु विल सब्सक्राइब टू द मेमोरेंडम एंड आर्टिकल्स ऑफ अ कंपनी सो कंपनी फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में आपके डॉक्यूमेंट्स क्या रहते हैं मेमोरेंडम ऑफ एसोसिएशन एज वेल एज आर्टिकल्स ऑफ एसोसिएशन दीज आर कॉल्ड द बेसिक डॉक्यूमेंट्स ऑफ अ कंपनी फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मेमोरेंडम जो होती है दैट डिफाइंस द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कैपिटल ऑफ द कंपनी एज वेल एज विच बिजनेस इट विल बी एन ठीक है सी आप जब ये सोल प्रोप्राइटरशिप फॉर्म करते हो यू कैन जस्ट स्टार्ट वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट कल मैंने सोचा कि मैं शेयर ट्रेडिंग में बिजनेस स्टार्ट करूंगी आई विल जस्ट स्टार्ट टूमोरो बट कंपनी फॉर्म में ऐसा नहीं होता है आपकी डॉक्यूमेंट जो होती है मेमोरेंडम ऑफ एसोसिएशन उसमें आपको लिखना पड़ता है कि दिस इज द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस इज द सॉरी दिस इज द सेक्टर ऑफ इंडस्ट्री वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द बिजनेस सो मैंने अगर उसमें लिख दिया कि आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट बिजनेस इन से मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ टूथब्रशेस ठीक है आई विल बी एबल टू डू दैट एक्टिविटी अगर मुझे और कुछ एक्टिविटी अंडरटेक करनी है तो आई विल हैव टू टेक परमिशन जो शेयर होल्डर्स रहते हैं हु आर द ओनर्स ऑफ द कंपनी उनसे मुझे परमिशन लेनी पड़ती है सेइंग ओके आई वांट टू नाउ डाइवर्सिफाई इनटू एक्स वाई जेड बिजनेस कैन आई स्टार्ट दैट एंड दैट इज हाउ यू कैन स्टार्ट सो लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग कि कुछ भी नया करना इज नॉट इम्पॉसिबल ओनली थिंग इज की डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स में आपको डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कंप्लायसेज करने पड़ते हैं फॉर डूइंग अ पर्टिकुलर थिंग one of the most important things about a company is it is a separate legal entity to so, uh, aapki company form jo hai that company can hold property aaj aapko uh, manufacturing uh, company banani hai theek hai aapko land leni hai you can buy it in the name of your company rather than buying in it your individual name and that that way that company can sue or be sued that means ki अगर आपको केस फाइल करनी है तो आपको अपने नाम से नहीं फाइल करनी पड़ती है द कंपनी कैन गो एंड फाइल अ केस एंड ऑल्सो समबडी कैन ऑल्सो फाइल अ केस ऑन द कंपनी इट कैन होल्ड प्रॉपर्टी इन इट्स ओन नेम दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेबल फॉर्म्स ऑफ बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चर फॉर फंडिंग एंड वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर दैट बिकॉज वहां पे डिटेल रेगुलेटरी ओवरसाइट है अभी वेन आई एम सेंग रेगुलेटरी ओवरसाइट वॉट आई मीन इज कि कंपनी फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ कंपनीज करके रेगुलेटरी बॉडी होती है और आपकी कंपनी में जो भी चल रहा है सपोज नया डायरेक्टर अपॉइंट हुआ आपने नए शेयर होल्डर्स को कैपिटल इश्यू किया या आपने आपका बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्टिव चेंज किया ये सब आपको रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ कंपनीज के पास इन्फॉर्म करना पड़ता है एज पर द लॉ ठीक है अगर आप इन्फॉर्म नहीं करते तो यू विल हैव अ लॉट ऑफ penalties applicable to you and ye sab compliances there is a cost associated with it har form ke liye aapko kuch fees bharni padti hai agar aapko late ho gaya to uh, additional penalty bharni padti hai and so on so the regulatory uh, body is uh, what do they do they look at all your forms and everything there is a large regulatory body they will look at whether you are doing things properly as per law अगर आपको शेयर होल्डर्स की परमिशन चाहिए आप ले रहे हो कि नहीं अगर आपको बोर्ड की परमिशन चाहिए आप ले रहे हो कि नहीं आपका कैपिटल यूटिलाइजेशन ठीक हो रहा है कि नहीं आर यू टेकिंग आर डायरेक्टर्स टेकिंग लोन्स फ्रॉम द कंपनी आपका पैसा सब लेके जा रहे हैं क्या ये सब जो काम है वो रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ कंपनी करती है एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेबल फॉर्म्स ऑफ बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चर फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ फंडिंग बैंक या इन्वेस्टर्स जो होते हैं दे आर वेरी कंफर्टेबल विद दिस काइंड ऑफ बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चर लेट्स लुक एट द एडवांटेजेस एज वेल एज डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑब्वियसली सी नो स्ट्रक्चर इज परफेक्ट है ना एवरीथिंग विल हैव सम एडवांटेजेस एज वेल एज डिसएडवांटेजेस सो कंपनी में व्हाट इज द ग्रेटेस्ट एडवांटेज लिमिटेड लायबिलिटी आपने जो इन्वेस्ट किया दैट विल बी योर रिस्क ओके सो इसकी वजह से क्या होता है कि सपोज आपने पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म की ठीक है आपने आपके दोस्तों को बोला कि चलो वी विल फॉर्म अ पार्टनरशिप बट सबको डर लगता है कि भैया पार्टनरशिप करेंगे तो मे बी माय पर्सनल एसेट्स विल बी एट रिस्क सो कल को अगर बिजनेस डूब गया तो व्हाट विल आई डू 
I will have to pay so much money. But if you form a company, or you ask your friends, ko bolte ho, can you contribute 10,000 rupees each to the share capital? They might happily do it because their risk will be limited to that 10,000 which they have given. Right? Another advantage, as we have talked about, if I am a scientist, I may not be able to go and market things. Okay? Same way, I may want to invest my money in a business, but I don't have any idea, nahi hai. I don't have any uh, skills also to manage a company. So what will I do? I will invest in a company. Hai? Because company mein board of directors as well as senior management. Hoti hai. Okay? Uh, you must have heard that managing director is a company, ka, director is a company, ka, whole time director is a then company secretary is a uh, CFO hota hai. I'm sure you must have read it in the papers ki ye company ka ye CFO ne aise bola. Some other uh, CFO has made a statement. Now these people are not people who are owning the company. Hai? So in a company form, there are two separate people. Okay. One is the shareholders who have put in capital in the business. They are the owners of the company. The second is the professional team which is managing the company. Okay. So there is a separation of ownership as well as management. Abhi isse kya fayda hota hai? I have a lot of money, but I don't have any uh, business skills. I kisi aur ko paisa de dungi and uh, wo team ko bolungi, you manage my business. I'm uh, incorporating this company. Main aapko MD karke appoint karti hu. You will look at the business. You will use my money. Profits mujhe milega in the form of dividend. And you will get a salary linked to the business. So this way, your ownership and management can be separated. And somebody who has capital but no management skills can still uh, participate in business structures. Perpetual succession is another great uh, form of the company. Now, uh, let's take the case of a partnership. Okay? You have two partners. You have made a partnership deed. Banai. If one of the partner dies, or he wants to withdraw from the business. It will no longer be a partnership. Aapko, you will have to convert it into another form of company, maybe a private company or something. Kuch aapko change karna padega business structure. And changing a business structure for a running company can be a complex process. Because your property is in which name it will loans hai. How will you structure the loans? So there are a lot of complexities involved. But a company like we discussed, is a separate legal entity. So, if your company has a shareholder ki death, ho gai, nothing happens. The business continues as it is. The shares get transferred. So, that portion of the investment gets transferred, which is a separate process, but the business of the company doesn't get affected at all. So, company continues functioning even if the ownership changes, and that is one of the greatest advantages of a company. See, uh, look at it from a lender's perspective. If you are a bank, you have a company I have for asking for lending. Hai? You know that company has so much land, this building, this stock. That company is because the ownership is separate from management and the company is a separate legal entity. So obviously, uh, as a bank, your comfort level in lending to a company will be much higher then lending to a sole proprietor jahan pe aapko uh, distinction nahi hai or even a partnership for that matter kyunki agar partner wagare uh, some partner dies or wants to withdraw from the business wo sara business ka change ho jata hai so this perpetual succession is one of the best uh, things for a company and naturally because of all these factors there's a huge expansion potential aapke shares transferable hote hain except for a private company uh, private company may you can transfer only with the consent of the shareholders but otherwise your transferability of shares is uh, very good and you can uh, there's a lot of uh, changes or expansion possible in a company because venture capital uh, investors jo rehte hai, ya banks rehte hai, they are all very eager to fund in this kind of business now there are some disadvantages also uh, Everything has a bad side. There are a lot of legal compliances, which leads to a lack of secrecy. Now, suppose you have a business. Hai. If you are a public limited company, 
तो आपके बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट जो रहते हैं दोज आर फाइल विद द रजिस्ट्रार ठीक है हमने बात की कि रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ कंपनी लुक्स एट द फाइनेंशियल एंड एवरीथिंग ओवर साइट होता है रजिस्ट्रार का नाउ वेन यू आर फाइल द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट एनी बडी कैन कम एंड टेक इंस्पेक्शन ऑफ योर बुक्स सो कोई भी बंदा आके आपके बुक्स इंस्पेक्ट कर सकता है ही विल नो वॉट इज द टर्न ओवर ऑफ योर कंपनी वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट यू आर सेलिंग आपके डिफरेंट बिजनेस सेगमेंट्स में आपका कितना ब्रेकअप uh, है एंड सो ऑन सो सीक्रेसी अगर आपका कोई इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू शेयर द फाइनेंशियल ऑफ योर कंपनी आपको ऐसा लगता है नहीं कि दिस शुड नॉट बी शेयर यू इधर गो फॉर अ प्राइवेट कंपनी बिकॉज वहां पे द फाइनेंशियल डिटेल शेयरिंग इज लिमिटेड बट देर विल स्टिल बी अ लैक ऑफ सीक्रेसी आपकी कंपनी के डायरेक्टर्स कौन है वो सब सबको पता चलता है बिकॉज दैट इज अ पब्लिक इंफॉर्मेशन देन देर इज अ डिले इन डिसीजन मेकिंग ओके वी मिस्ड आउट वन पॉइंट ये लैक ऑफ पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट जो है वेन आई एम सींग लैक ऑफ पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट क्या होता है कि समटाइम्स इट कैन सो हैपन कि जो मैनेजमेंट के लोग हैं सपोज यू हैव अपॉइंटेड सम डायरेक्टर टू टेक केयर ऑफ द मार्केटिंग अभी ही इज ओनली अर्निंग अ सैलरी उसका पर्सनल ओनरशिप कुछ नहीं है कंपनी में ही मे बी डिस इंटरेस्टेड पॉसिबल है obviously you will change the director but he can cause some damage to the business that is a possibility but yes how you can avoid this disadvantages you choose professional people to handle your company and delay in decision making is another thing abhi companies act ke hisab se certain decisions are to be taken only by board of directors okay so aapke company ka md ya other directors jo hai wo akele milke ye decide nahi kar sakte see look at it this way आप सोल प्रोपराइटर हो यू कैन जस्ट डिसाइड कि आई विल एंटर अ न्यू बिजनेस सेगमेंट स्टार्ट ठीक है बट अगर आप कंपनी फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हो तो यू विल टेक द अप्रूवल ऑफ योर बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स फर्स्ट ठीक है देन यू विल टेक द अप्रूवल ऑफ योर शेयर होल्डर्स कि आई एम एंटरिंग दिस न्यू फॉर्म ऑफ बिजनेस एंड देन यू कैन स्टार्ट द न्यू बिजनेस सो यू विल प्रॉब्लमली रिक्वायर अ टाइम पीरियड ऑफ से टू टू थ्री मंथ्स बिफोर यू स्टार्ट अ न्यू बिजनेस यू कैन रिड्यूस द टाइम लाइन ऑल्सो बट ये जनरली फॉर लार्ज कंपनीज इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज अगर आपके कंपनी में टेन या ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड शेयर होल्डर्स है यू जस्ट हैव टू फॉलो द प्रोसेस यू कैनॉट जस्ट से नहीं नहीं मुझे कल से ही स्टार्ट करना है आई विल सम हाउ स्टार्ट वो नहीं है पॉसिबल सो समाइम्स द डिसीजन मेकिंग कैन बी डिग्लेड बट यू कैन हैंडल इट बाय हैविंग अ वेरी प्रॉपर थॉट प्रोसेस एंड प्लानिंग सो यू कैन यू एज अ कंपनी इफ यू आर अ लार्ज कंपनी ऐसा नहीं होगा कि आप कल से नया बिजनेस आइडिया इंप्लीमेंट करोगे यू विल टेक समाइम टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट ऑल्सो एंड दैट्स वाई यू विल ऑल्सो गेट सम टाइम बट ये इन सर्टन केसेज देर कैन बी अर डिले इन डिसीजन मेकिंग दिस इज जस्ट स्मॉल ये ऑन वॉट आर द सक्सेसफुल स्टार्टअप इन द लास्ट पास डिकेड ऑल्सो इन एजुकेशन हमने बात की यू हैव बाइजूज एंड अन अकेडमी इफ यू लुक एट दैम क्लोजली Each one of them has addressed a certain gap in the market. ठीक है? Byju's ne online education was not there, uh, and Byju's or an academy they also had the advantage ki uh, when they were growing, tabhi ye COVID ka pandemic bhi aaya. When most of the people shifted to online mode of education, also to a lot of extent, and they had a lot of uh, advantage because of that. e commerce mein you have flipkart snapdeal uh this also segment had a lot of fill up given to them because of the pandemic situation aaj ke date mein i'm sure lot of you even me we call for a lot of things directly from uh, amazon ya flipkart ya and we are just happy market jaane ki zarurat hi nahi hai even you get groceries also online to jaane ki zarurat kya hai right then you have restaurant delivery रिमेम्बर द गुड ओल्ड डेज जहाँ पे हमको रेस्टोरेंट को डायल करके आपके पास होम डिलीवरी का ऑप्शन है क्या पूछना पड़ता था नो लॉन्गर राइट नाउ वी कैन जस्ट लॉग इन टू स्विगी और जोमेटो ऑर्डर फॉर वट एवर फूड वी रिक्वायर इट विल बी रीच टू अवर हाउस विद इन हाफ एन आवर और फोर्टी मिनट्स देन फाइनेंशियल टेक्नोलॉजी सर्विसेज पेटीएम आई रिमेम्बर की टेन ईयर्स बैक क्रेडिट कार्ड यूज टू बी एक्सक्यूज मी क्रेडिट कार्ड या डेबिट कार्ड यूज टू बी द पेमेंट ऑप्शन विच वॉज 
कंफर्टेबल अदरवाइज आपको कैश पेमेंट करनी पड़ती थी ऑनलाइन ऑप्शन भी उसके बाद स्टार्ट हुआ एंड पेटीएम या यूपीआई जो ऑप्शन है वो तो अभी रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट है नॉट रिसेंट एज इन लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स बट ये इट्स अ रिलेटिवली न्यू डेवलपमेंट ट्रेवलिंग वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस ओला कैब्स so uh, let's quickly uh, recap what are the points we should remember while deciding on the business structure options uh, we discussed that your business structure has to be based on your business sector now suppose uh, see you know that there are a lot of private insurance companies also as of today theek hai pehle ke zamane mein sirf lic hota tha ya gic hota tha but aaj ke date mein aapke paas icic prudential hai एंड सो ऑन कैनरा एच एस डी सी है बहुत सारे इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज हैं बट इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज जो रहते हैं उनको कुछ मिनिमम कैपिटल की रिक्वायरमेंट होती है से थाउजेंड क्रॉस आई डोंट नो द एग्जैक्ट फिगर सो अगर आपको इंश्योरेंस कंपनी खोलनी है ऑब्वियसली यू कॉन्ट गो विद सिंपल बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चर बट आपको सिंपल छोटा सा मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट डालना है सबको सपोज आपको पेन्स बनानी है यू विल रिक्वायर अ वेरी स्मॉल सेटअप तो इन दैट केस यू कैन लुक एट अ पार्टनरशिप और सिंपल फॉर्म ऑफ बिजनेस स्ट्रक्चर so your business structure will be based on what sector you want to enter what idea you want to implement and uske basis pe aapko business structure choose karna hai hmm. second point is also very important because see don't only look at ki aaj ke date mein aapko kya chahiye aap jab hi startup entrepreneur ho to aapko aage ke 5 saal ki sochni hai theek hai to agar aapka business aisa hai which is going to grow very quickly and you are very optimistic about it aapko confidence hai ki aapka business idea will work you may choose for a complex structure right at the beginning so and kal aap 2 saal ke baad agar aap uh, investors ke paas jaoge you will have a very smooth transition into a larger company okay next please try and take the help of a professional see kya hota hai uh, people lot of time think ki nahi nahi uh, mujhe to bas private limited company khonni hai When you have a private limited company, आपको मिनिमम कैपिटल वन लाख लगता है आपको पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी खोलनी है तो मिनिमम कैपिटल फाइव लैक्स लगती है तो यू कैन ऑलवेज गो एंड टेक द हेल्प ऑफ एनी प्रोफेशनल यू हैव सी ए फर्म्स यू हैव सी एस फर्म्स ये सब आपको एडवाइस दे सकती है कि वॉट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर विल बी सुटेबल फॉर यू एंड दे विल ऑल्सो बी सी बिकॉज सी ए फर्म्स या ये प्रोफेशनल फर्म्स जो होती है दे हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ अदर बिजनेस ठीक है so do try and take advantage of that when you want to open your own startup because there is always there's no point in reinventing the wheel theek hai jo char logo ne already study kiya hai wo aapko if you can just talk to that person you will get advantage of his study and you will benefit from it another point don't underestimate the legal risks or complications see aaj ke date mein aapne complex structure choose kiya but compliance is nahi kiya suppose aapne कंपनी फॉर्म ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर चूज किया ठीक है वेरी गुड यू हैव अ वेरी पॉजिटिव आउटलुक कि आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ग्रो होनी है यू विल नीड इन्वेस्टर्स तो इसलिए आपने पहले से ही कंपनी फॉर्म चूज किया बट आपने हर साल एनुअल अकाउंट्स जो लगते हैं वो फाइल नहीं किया तो कल क्यों क्या होगा यू विल रन इन टू लीगल ट्रेवल्स एट द एंड ऑफ से थ्री फोर ईयर्स आपको रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ कंपनी से नोटिस आएगी आपको वहां पर जाके केस लड़नी पड़ेगी You will have to rectify it. Penalty बननी पड़ेगी So please be aware की every business form will have some requirements. Tax का compliance करना पड़ेगा वो particular law का compliance करना पड़ेगा You have to keep all that in mind and make sure that you are not underestimating these uh, legal risks. Okay? ऐसे see any business person who is very keen on implementing the business idea, उसको लगता है अरे ये क्या है form filing वगैरह but take the help of a professional because aage you can run into trouble if you don't take up the legal risk uh, if you don't take care of the legal risk right now okay then take into consideration the interest of all shareholders now uh, what i mean by this is ki aapke investors ko kya structure suitable hoga if you uh, anticipate ki aapko 2 3 saal baad aapko bahut sara capital lagne wala hai so maybe right now you can go for a प्राइवेट कंपनी देन कन्वर्टेड इन टू अ पब्लिक कंपनी या आपके कस्टमर्स को सपोज सी सोल प्रोप्राइटरशिप विल बी अ वेरी स्मॉल स्केल बिजनेस उसको ग्रोथ विल बी लिमिटेड बट यू वॉन्ट एक्सपोनशियल ग्रोथ सो फॉर द कस्टमर्स यू मे चूज फॉर अ डिफरेंट फॉर्म ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर 
employees interest are also critical because tomorrow uh, see as a company form aap kya kar sakte ho ki see startup mein kya hota hai the initial uh, salary levels aur ye low ho sakti hai if you have limited capital to bahut sare startups kya karte hain ki employees ko bolte hain ki aapko i will give shares in the company theek hai jaise company badhti jayegi the employees get rewarded to ye sab consideration aapko यू हैव टू कीप दिस इन माइंड आपको ये सब सोचनी है बातें एंड देन यू कैन चूज द फाइनल लीगल स्ट्रक्चर दिस विल बी द बेस्ट वे यू कैन गो अबाउट इट आई हैव जस्ट कवर द बेसिक योर अफकोर्स इफ एनी मोर डिटेल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड यू विल हैव टू अप्रोच अ प्रोफेशनल वाइल यू आर स्टार्टिंग अ स्टार्टअप बिकॉज दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट क्रिटिकल पॉइंट विच आर देयर फॉर एनी स्टार्टअप कंपनी दैट्स इट फ्रॉम माई साइड Uh, i would love uh, to take any questions if you have any questions right now okay you can also put your questions in the chat box if you have any questions okay i don't think uh, there are any questions anusha ma'am uh, ma'am i have a question from one of the participants yes tell me uh, you mentioned venture capitalist in one yes. of the slides yes so uh, they want to know what exactly is the meaning of venture capital okay uh, see when i am talking about venture capitalist these are uh, companies uh, investing companies okay they invest in any new business ideas Now suppose जैसे uh, we read about uh, different uh, investing firms okay in the newspapers ये uh, Baidu's है या Zetwork या ये सब जो uh, startups हुए थे they got funded by different people you have Tiger Capital you have Coqia ऐसे बहुत सारे venture capital firms रहते हैं जो they invest in the early stage of business ठीक है तो वो आपको funding support provide करते हैं there are a lot of venture capital firms what you how you go about approaching them is ki you have to present them with your business idea and what is your business plan theek hai ki aapko ye product banana hai ya aap already bana rahe ho and this is how i will approach my new customers and this is how i will grow my business then if they like that idea they will fund your business jaise humne flipkart ke case mein flipkart ke case mein humne jo देखा फॉर एटीन मंथ्स दे वर ट्राइंग फॉर फंडिंग सपोर्ट फाइनली दे गॉट इट आफ्टर एटीन मंथ्स सो वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट को आपको प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ योर बिजनेस आइडिया करनी पड़ती है इफ दे लाइक योर आइडिया दे विल प्रोवाइड द फंडिंग सपोर्ट वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माय साइड एज वेल अनुषा इफ यू इफ यू कैन परमिट मी या श्योर सर so uh there's one question that is uh, in line with what uh, anusha madam has asked uh, oh, uh, see i'm working with two three uh, startup student startups right now but uh, when we go for raising the rounds then it is a common observation that uh, many times it is uh, the investors who tend to persuade the uh, students to take up their idea uh, further rather than uh, taking up the students idea further correct and uh, they put up this kind of uh, a situation in front of the student that i am ready to invest but you need to work on this idea oh so okay it, it, many of the times it is uh, slightly disheartening for the student uh, just your comments on this madam meaning is it okay to uh, take such investors on board or uh, will it be a problem later on uh okay uh, see what happens is um 
see this always happens okay uh, like i said uh, the flipkart idea initially everybody just dismissed that idea saying ki ye kya hai books ko kya sell karna hai online right so that will happen because kya hota hai ki there will be very few uh, investors who have the vision to understand the potential of a new idea okay sometimes the idea may not have potential that is also possible right but some uh, at the same time there will be few investors who will be willing to take a risk on a very new idea so what uh, typically investors might do is ki jo uh, industry mein jo ideas float ho rahi hain they may want to go with that because it's a more acceptable model theek hai but uh, i would have only one advice ki students should not get disheartened by it ye uh, all companies have this issue huh? ki or business karke there's a very large uh, startup company it's a unicorn so unicorn matlab uh, i'm sure a lot of you are aware for the benefit of students let me tell you unicorn has a valuation size of 7500 crores of rupees okay usko unicorn bolte hain now uh, they had to approach at least 30 to 35 investors before they got somebody who was willing to fund their idea so my advice is ki don't get disheartened if you are very sure of your idea i'm sure you will get some investor but you have to keep trying ek do investors do char investors se nahi hota at times because tip, people may have very typical conventional attitude towards investing so wo you have to find out the fund which is suitable for your idea is one more from my side it's something more technical uh, many times it happens that uh, an indian startup may want to uh, have a global presence right and in that scenario uh, what are the uh, indian government regulations for, for such a startup so that it can have a global presence possible because uh, i believe that there are a few regulations in those regards that uh, are restricting many of the indian startups to to, uh, to have a multinational presence or something like that uh see uh, the startups uh, see there is a startup scheme of the government of india okay right. and uh, they have a lot of support in terms of uh, because if you want to go overseas especially with a product or anything they provide support in terms of the patent or ipr rights okay now uh, as far as my knowledge goes there is no restriction because see legally you cannot restrict any company from implementing a idea whether in this market or overseas market okay so there there wouldn't be any regulatory restriction as such so uh, i don't think there's any bar for uh, startups to start but what they would look at is that there should be wealth creation as well as uh, employment creation here first and then they should expand because if you see uh, even uh, from a business perspective you have to implement your startup here first because you this is the market gap this is the main market where you have seen the gap and you are uh, coming up with a startup idea so you implement it and then you go on to the overseas market uh, but there are a few regulations regarding uh, like uh... if if you are drawing funds from overseas investors hmm. to fund your company in india hmm. then there are a few regulations that you need to follow uh, yes uh, that's because if uh, that is there for any company whether it's a startup or not if you are uh, taking uh, foreign funds then you have to follow the uh, fema guidelines you have some compliances you have to inform the rbi plus uh, see if your startup is in some sectors like uh, where it is supporting the defense sector there would be restrictions in terms of uh, whether you can take foreign funds or not that is more uh, with a perspective of security of the industry a specific sector uh, but lot of sectors have 100% automatic approval route okay for example uh, take your biotechnology sector biotechnology sector has 100% automatic approval of fdi but you have to inform the rbi first then you can get the funds so the restrictions are more administrative in some sectors but yes some sectors would have some restrictions that's true right so there are a few question from the audience so they have written it in the chat box i'm just reading out for you 
Yeah. Uh, is crowdfunding and venture capital similar? The question from Siddhi Deshpande. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is a difference in crowdfunding and venture capital. See, crowdfunding is where you appeal to your general friends and general public also to fund for a particular initiative. Uh, we had a case of there's one uh, agri-oriented educational society, uh, school rather, not a society, uh, which went for crowdfunding. So they sent an appeal. They uh, put down their plans of what they plan to do, how it will benefit the students, and they send a crowdfunding appeal. So various people who liked the idea, they funded them. So crowdfunding is more from the general public. Whereas venture capital would be specialized investors. So venture capital firms would have their own team who would be doing the evaluation of your business model, who may also help you in terms of uh, advisory support. Okay, If you want marketing channels or if you want some, uh, say, raw material supply uh, support, they would provide with uh, that. So mentorship is something which venture capital firms do provide at times. But crowdfunding is different. It is uh, more a uh, gathering of funds from general public. I see one more question here. There, somebody has said, ki, uh, as told, private company has only 200 holders, but seen in stock market, shares of private limited companies are listed there with number of shares for free transfer. Okay, okay. See, uh, this is... Uh, where I was talking about, there's a lot of misconception on private limited company and uh, private limited, public limited company and listed company. Okay. See, there are different kinds of uh, terminologies for companies. See, one is you have the government sector and the private sector. Okay. So government sector is where government ownership is there. So you are subject to all the rules and regulations of say central government or state government employees, okay? Private sector is where your investment is uh, by private investors. So these private companies, private limited companies is different from private companies. I think there's a, some confusion in the mind of uh, some person. I don't see the name. So private companies would get listed on the uh, stock market, but their legal structure would be a public limited company. Let me tell you, no private limited company can get listed on the stock market. That is impossible. So what you need to do is, when you are, uh, if you can give me example of some company, you have to go and look at the company structure on the share market or on the ROC website, Registrar of Companies website. And that is where you will be able to figure out that it is a public limited company. Because private limited companies are not allowed to list on the stock exchanges. But private sector companies would be listed. So that's more of a terminology confusion. Okay. Okay. I think uh, this answers um, your question. Right. Yes. Uh, there is one more thing that uh, I would like you to uh shed light upon there there is a concept of uh, having a business model canvas mm -hmm. i am not sure whether uh, uh, whether it is known to all the participants well or not because nowadays venture capitalists are actually asking uh, you to have a model ready for you mm -hmm. is the business model canvas and then they they give you something like giving you a projection of how the company is going to develop uh, mm -hmm. in the new course. So if you can add a few comments on that, that would be good. See, basically any uh, venture capital or any investor for that matter, they would look at um, how you are planning to take the company forward. Okay. Because any investor would be interested in a company which is going to grow. Right. Because that is where the money comes in for the investor. Okay. So business model canvas would be, it is more a document. Uh, that's, uh, of course, my personal view. It is a document which will show how you plan uh, for the company for the next five years. See, uh, currently you have something you are selling to maybe 100 people and you may be happy with that. 
but what will the investor look for ki okay how are you going to uh, improve this 100 to 1000 people or how are you going to uh, suppose it's a product and uh, you figure out there are some deficiencies because every product every new product will have some deficiencies which will come over a period of time of usage so how will you handle it whether you have you will have a r&d team for that or whether you will just uh, give your designing to somebody else so these are the various factors which will go into your business model canvas so it is more a document of how you are going to plan for your company and uh, investors would be most impressed by entrepreneurs who have a foresight of the next 5 years and that is what they will look at in this and they must be assisting uh, startup companies for developing that canvas also like i said this mentorship concept even the uh, startup india uh, initiative which is there they also have uh, they have a very good network of uh, various incubators as well as accelerators who help develop your company uh, business model and help you in various other initiatives right madam uh, uh, if if there are any more questions please post it in the chat box i believe madam has touched upon all the aspects uh, very well about uh, the structure of the business and uh, how one should approach an idea if if one believes that uh, that can be scaled up into a full fledged uh, business proposal or something uh so because we are not getting any more questions but uh, i believe madam that after we uh, wrap down this session you might get uh, your email id flooded with some questions sure from sure. participant side in case you agree to share your email id with the participants yes yes no issues okay uh, one last thing i would like to uh, ask you here is uh, many times when when a person is going for setting up a startup or a business he normally approaches a a com uh, that means a chartered accountant rather than a company secretary hmm. so if you can i uh, <laughs> like what's the basic difference between the two and who uh, should they approach first that would make the point uh, more clear i believe okay right uh, that's a that's a very uh, good question sir uh, see uh, the basic difference is a ca firm is Uh, more into the financial aspects of a business okay whereas a cs firm would look at the legal structuring options so uh, when you are deciding on the business structuring options a cs firm would also be a good idea now in india uh, ca firms almost end up doing everything they incorporate companies also they advise on company structuring also so yes that is the way uh, things function here but yes uh, cs focuses on uh, the legal aspects of a company form as well as the procedural aspects so it would be a good idea to either approach either of them for deciding the business structure but yes then certain compliances you require a ca like audit compliances and you know, that of course a ca would be the right person for establishment purpose it would be better to approach a company secretary yes yes and uh, uh, for the compliances to be met uh, the ca would be yes. the better person yes perfect yes i come from a science background so i have always have uh, had this confusion that uh, what are the uh, meaning uh, job right. responsibilities of a ca compared to a cs right so thank you right. so much madam for clarifying all the doubts mm -hmm. that uh, i had as well as some participants okay there is one more question madam one last one we will take and then we will end it uh, what are the different government mm -hmm. schemes which promote the startup in india that's what is the question okay so um, i can give a quick overview and there are a lot of government schemes of course so uh, i can't go into detail at this forum because we have very limited time now i'm sure the other speaker is also waiting so uh, let me just tell you uh, the startup india scheme is there where you can do a startup registration okay and there you get uh, government support in the form of easier compliances 
So suppose you are a startup which is uh, not manufacturing anything which is causing pollution, you get a, a free uh, pollution control approval. So those kind of supports are available. There is also fund of funds scheme. So they provide some capital to the startups also. Uh, then you have incubator support. So there are certain incubators who help at the early stage. And that kind of network is available on the Startup India scheme website that is there. Plus, uh, where you have an innovative idea, where you are into research, okay, you have support from the DSIR people also. Yeah, there's a Department of Science uh, and Technology. They have a registration also, and you can get some tax exemptions from that. So this is a very vast subject. I have just given you an overview. If you need any further details uh, for a specific uh, startup, uh, please feel free to contact me. Yeah, thank you so much, madam. Uh, it was a wonderful lecture with almost every point covered. And uh, you actually went out of your way to uh, get everyone convinced with uh, addition of those case studies in between. That, that was quite a remarkable uh, thing that you did during your uh, uh, lecture. So thank you so much for uh, uh, allowing us to host you for uh, this particular uh, impact uh, lecture se uh, session. Uh, I would be more than happy to uh, get connected with you in person as well. Uh, yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll find out some ways so that you can get associated with our college because we have an incubation center here. Okay. okay. And uh, that would add, and that means your uh, association with us will add a lot of value to that uh, incubation center. I, sure, I sir. personally sure. believe this. I would look forward to it, definitely. Thank yeah, you. Thank you so much, madam. Thanks a lot. Uh, we, I believe, have uh, our. Uh, Second speaker, Anusha, in case you want to speak something. Go ahead. Uh, no, ma'am, actually, I just, uh, no, sir, I want to thank ma'am for such an uh, interesting lecture, wherein she encompassed all uh, the different forms of business structure that, uh, you know, one can think of doing. So thank you so much, ma'am. It was completely meaningful. So I believe we have with us uh, uh, our uh, second speaker, uh, is uh, Mr. Virendra Mishra, sir. Uh, hi, sir. Hi, hi. Uh, so uh, we were going through the structure of uh, business, which was uh, given to us by uh, uh, this project, Gadkari, madam. And uh, now I would request uh, Anusha Patre, uh, madam, to introduce to us uh, about Mr. Virendra Mishra, our next speaker. Sure, sir. Thank you so much. It, uh, I actually take immense pleasure to introduce the second speaker for the session. Uh, serial entrepreneur Virendra Mishra has over a decade's experience across various startups. He holds a degree in Bachelor of Engineering in Electronics and Electronic Engineering. Sir has also had the experience of being a TEDx speaker at XIE Mumbai. The topic highlighted was raising the capital to build the best in tech and AI for a startup. He started his professional journey as a filmmaker with his venture Oasis production, heading the operations for his venture My Window. He also began Neuron, an artificial intelligence platform which uses machine learning as a core tech wherein he was responsible for leading the entire design team and business development. At Project Gorilla, he helped portfolio startups with strategies in digital growth, suggesting technology hacks and helping them understand the user psychology. Currently, he is the CMO and co-founder at Veda Labs, which utilizes AI and machine learning to empower business owners to extract deep insights from any form of video data in real time. We are pleased to have you, sir. Thank you for giving us your valuable time and for having consented to be a part of the Impact Lecture Series. I am sure your talk will foster learning, inspiration, wonder, and provoke conversations that matter. Without further ado, I now request you, sir, to kindly start the session. Over to you, sir. You. Thank you, Anusha. Thank you, Professor Bagre, to, like, you know, to have me on this session. Uh, it's always fun to interact with students, right? So, uh, yes, yeah, so as uh, Anusha told uh, me, uh, like, you know, about me, I started my journey way back uh, when I was in first year of engineering. I thought I can be a good filmmaker. So, like, you know, me and a couple of my friends, we, uh, like, you know, just grabbed the camera and thought we should make a short film. And okay. जब 17 साल के होते हैं जब ज्यादा कुछ दिमाग में होता नहीं तो जो जो अच्छा लगता है वो करने की इच्छा हो जाती है राइट 
सो दैट शॉर्ट वी डिड हम लोग ने कैमरा लिया एक शॉर्ट फिल्म बनाई and uh, when we completed that short film we submitted it to multiple uh, national and international film festivals and uh, to my surprise uh, like you know that film eventually went on to win 16 national level film festival awards right and that kind of gave us a lot of notoriety and like you know and uh, uh, i'm i'm not sure if you know that like you know mr rajkumar hirani is also from nagpur like you know he uh, he did his bachelor's from uh, like you know um, hislop college right and um, his uh, like in his sister used to live nearby uh, my place so somehow like in you know, because of our short films and that connection we got to meet him right we uh, learned a lot of things from him and when we thought like you know we can probably do this film making thing as a business a lot of corporates started approaching us saying that like you know why don't you make our corporate documentary why don't you make a uh, a short film on our products and etc and we started doing that i was in i guess second year of engineering when we were doing all of this and we were making good money like you know as a 17 18 year old when you're making 1 2 lakh rupees a month you're pretty happy right so aur zyada kuch plan tha nahi we were like let's make uh, a lot of money and probably like you know in some day start our own production house so that's how we started that's how i started and uh, then in third year engineering i saw this movie called social network right uh, where like you know you see all the story of mark zuckerberg and facebook and etc and after watching that movie i thought i can be the next mark zuckerberg right so humne socha ki chalo theek hai film making to kabhi bhi kar lenge let's make something on the internet and uh, that's how uh, a company called my window started right and my window was nothing but a social network which allowed anyone and everyone to connect with uh, others with similar passions like for example if i have interest in photography and uh, like you know and machine learning and uh, professor begde here has an in, uh, interest in machine learning and let's say cinematography so when i follow mr begde like and i'll probably see only content related to machine learning because that's the common interest we share so we created that platform uh, like you know we scaled it from 0 to 1 lakh users in 6 months and uh, like you know the pro- platform was going pretty good and at that time like you know we were just in third year final year engineering and we had no idea how to raise money from investors and we had no idea like you know who are the investors in the country and i'm talking about 2010 11 at that time like you know the startup culture was not that uh, like you know big no one no one knew who are the angel investors there were only the usual sequoias and the nexus of the world who were investing and they never considered small startups like us as a worthy investment right so uh, two years three years down the line in the journey we pivoted our platform and changed the platform into something else and eventually that platform became profitable where we allowed everyone to sell anything that they have created and accept payments for that internationally right so accepting international payments is still not easy today and like you know we were we made it pretty easy in 2012 13 and uh, like you know and that time we were grossing in somewhere close to 1.3 1.4 million dollars annually so we were profitable right and when we went profitable i realized one thing which was like you know i didn't wanted to continue my life into uh, like you know payments and payment gateway right i was becoming a payment partner for multiple people so i kind of decided to take an exit right because the company was profitable so i took my exit my other co-founder carried it forward and uh, like you know changed it into an ota ota is nothing but an online travel agency Uh, much like what make my make my trip or exigo are uh, are doing he converted our platform to that and like you know that company is now getting acquired by a company in israel so uh, like you know a good ending there so once i took my exit in 2014 i blogged about a platform that i wanted to build and which was very dear to me so uh, like you know i'm not sure if if anyone has seen that movie called a space odyssey right it was an amazing sci-fi film like you know where like you know a lot of things were happening in space and in that movie there was this super computer named hal hal 9000 and that computer was super intelligent like you know uh, the main characters in the movie were interacting with that computer and the computer was responding very rationally and as an uh, engineering student like you know i always thought like you know what makes a computer that much uh, like you know that much in, uh, intelligent and that's when i uh, like you know got the idea uh, and uh, introduction to what machine learning is all about and how you can actually train a particular computer to make certain decisions obviously right even till now like you know machines are not that intelligent but they are somewhat intelligent you can actually train the machines 
to uh, execute a specific task and they do that pretty well and when i understood this entire concept of uh, how machine learning works right i thought why not build a company why not build a platform where anyone who has a small technical knowledge can come to the platform use our tools to build ai systems right and that's how neuron uh, my second company third company was born which was uh, a machine learning platform for developers and allowed them to like you know make sense out of multiple sorts of data and make decisions out of it this was in 2014 and uh, when i started this company again i started this company in nagpur with me and a couple of my friends from my uh, engineering college right they dropped out in the final year and we just blogged about uh, what we are working on and because like you know my last startup was uh, a little somewhat famous at that time right uh, my blog somehow reached to someone in uh, times internet right so times internet owns all the properties like economic times gana and uh, like you know mx player and mx takata can what not right so they are they are one of the biggest internet companies in the country right now right so uh, i wrote the idea about what i am working on as a neuron as company right and someone in times internet saw that blog post they reached out to us saying that like you know what you're working on seems really interesting why don't we speak right uh, so we went on a call with them on i still remember i think on 12th august uh, 2014 and uh, by 16th august like you know they offered us a term sheet and by a term sheet i mean they offered to invest in our company and uh, they decided to invest in our company and we on uh, the only condition was we have to shift our base from nagpur to delhi so we obviously accepted that investment uh, moved to delhi uh, started building neuron and uh, like you know scaled our team from like just three people to like 34 people right uh, raised a lot of capital from uh, raised a lot of capital from multiple investors from best of the cxos and ceos and cmos of companies like mahindra and uh, like you know uh, tvs and uh, net ntt net magic and few other companies like you know the ones that that are in the top and re- uh, built that company but eventually in 2017 we realized that like you know uh, our company wasn't doing that well because uh like you know probably we were way ahead in the market and the product that we built right uh, wasn't really uh, what you can say uh, wasn't really easy for everyone to accept uh, although like you know what we realized was our platform right was uh, being used by multiple banks in the country but it wasn't actually generating that much revenue so we eventually decided to uh, shut down the company and accept that uh, our pl- company failed and uh, move for move on right so in 2017 december uh, like you know we shut down neuron and we moved forward and that's when i saw like you know a couple of my friends uh, from delhi were building a company into video analytics and that company was called veda lab so i eventually joined that company as a late co-founder right uh, i i joined in there like you know we defined a particular direction to the company saying that we will only do retail analytics and we will use the cctv cameras video and do a lot of analytics for retailers in real time so that they know how many people came into their store where all they went where all they spent the most of their time in the particular floor right which allows the retailer to make a lot of decisions on how they can move their inventory how how they can actually sell more of their stuff right so we kind of started working on that platform built it and uh, like an even till even till today like you know the company is still ranked as the best retail analytics company in the country right so we built that platform from 2018 to 2021 in 2020 uh, like you know uh, a company called satin neo dimension which is one of the biggest retail man- uh, fixture manufacturer right uh, retail fixture manufacturer and so like these are the guys who design the entire retail stores from layouts to furnitures to lightings to every electronics right so these are the biggest retail manu- uh, fixture manufacturers of the country they saw us and they thought like you know we had a good uh, like you know possible synergies together so eventually they ended up acquiring majority equity in the con- uh, in the company so in 2021 uh, like you know we uh, like you know sold majority equity to set in your dimensions and uh, late 2021 i kind of like you know, decided to move on because like you know my purpose got fulfilled and uh, like you know what i joined in for like you know was a great marketing the so which we had a great market presence we had a great customer base uh, we sold majority equity to someone 
and at that time like you know also uh, in 2021 uh, like you know uh, i got listed in the forbes uh, 30 and the 30 list so that uh, because of the work that we did in veda labs so uh, like you know did that and after that like i took a sabbatical for 6 months learned uh, a lot of new technology especially about finance right i wanted to understand how the banks and the fintechs of the world function uh, read a lot of stuff did few fellowships uh, internationally were and uh, worked with a company called uh, like you know better place which is the biggest uh, blue collar platform in country right so all the uh, swiggy and zomato riders that you see uh, better place actually provides all those delivery boys to all the biggest companies in the country so i joined them as the uh, growth head for b2c and uh, worked there for a while and uh, have been working with a company in us now uh, called as smiota as director marketing where we work with the likes uh, where our customer base are the fortune 500s like you know from facebook to google to work day to uh, like you know amazon and everyone they use our smart lockers to store their goods and like you know deliver it to their customers so that's what we are doing and one thing that i can say like you know that i have realized in this entire journey of mine which is ke like you know if you if you have a, even a half baked idea there's nothing wrong in experimenting with it or experimenting about it because you never know what's going to work and uh, like you know and when you know like you know you your idea is worth uh, a try you can always find people who may get excited as equal as you for the same idea and you can have a team which will probably work for free with you right in most of the cases when i started my company in the initial days we never had any capital so obviously like you know either we invested something from our own pocket or like you know we worked for free right and these days because the policies and because uh, the support of government is so strong right and i think building the company is the like you know i think the most easiest job today i think what matters is if you can actually solve a real problem that's that actually is paining to a lot of people you can actually build a great product right and that is what uh, i have always tried to do and uh, i think uh, like you know that's 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 holistically my journey right and to make this conversation a little more interactive like you know i wanted to keep my introduction very short and i wanted to have a like you know a quick q and a with with the audience so that like you know i know what kind of audience is there i understand most of you are students right so i would love to understand like you know if anyone is working on some product or if anyone is thinking about starting up or if you have any uh, like you know doubts that you think like you know you cannot solve right and i'm happy to like you know help and happy to advise or happy to suggest what can be the solution for your problems so like you know i think uh, we, we can open up for the questions where like you know we can discuss uh, like you know what problems you are facing and i think we can do that q and a for 30 minutes for sure if anybody has any question uh, mishra sir would be more than happy to uh, answer your questions yeah by the time uh, they come up with something uh, right. i have one thing uh, that needs to be addressed uh, most of the times so students don't realize it uh, as as an innovator most of the times it happens that uh, an idea strikes you mm-hmm. and you are excited about the idea to work upon that particular uh, idea so and many of the times at the end of the day uh, it is realized by the third person that uh, this idea is of only that person's interest rather than uh, of the world's interest so how can one establish a balance between these two understand that okay whether the idea is of your own interest would sure. you do to work on it or the rest of the world also is facing the similar kind of problem sure so i think like you know uh, when when people talk about innovations i think one of the biggest uh, misconception today is like you know that startups are innovation like you know to be honest most of the startups are not innovating they are just addressing one single pain point right and that is the biggest difference being uh, between being an innovative platform or being a startup right you know you don't have to be innovative all the time right you you can just probably address a single problem that exists 
and uh, to answer to your question uh, professor i think one of the biggest thing is like you know when people think of an idea and start executing on it i think what they forget is that once you have an idea the first step is not executing on it the first step is actually going into the market and asking at least 100 people if that is a problem that really exists right but and if that problem doesn't exist you don't have to really work on uh, work on it right you know uh, a lot of times when like you know for example when i started uh, like you know i joined veda labs right in the initial days like you know we did a lot of a long customer survey like you know potential customer survey and understood what are the key features or key offerings that they will be looking for in a retail analytics product right when we defined that we wanted to build a retail analytics company we went out and asked our customers potential customers like what is the product that they will be willing to uh, uh, like you know buy from us how much is the price they will be willing to make, pay for us right pay for that and then we did our own analysis understanding like you know if this is the cost of building it and this is what people are willing to pay for it right can we actually match the unit economics right can our cost actually cover like you know the uh, can our uh, revenue cover the cost of making it right so i think one of the biggest thing that people should actually focus on is when they have an idea at least speak to 50 to 100 people right it doesn't take it doesn't took much take much right you can go out go out on linkedin and just randomly connect to people and just keep on asking questions right out of 100 people you send out a request to 10 people will definitely respond and those 10 people will probably give you an idea and probably give you a like you know a context on what really matters for you yeah so it is in in uh, in business jargon that is perhaps referred to as uh, uh, finding the market fit right yes yes it's probably like you know you can call it as product market fit Yes, right? uh, which is like you know pro- uh, probably the biggest terminology in the entire startup ecosystem because if you don't have a product market fit, right, you don't have a business model yet, and if you don't have a business model yet, you probably are not going to make enough money, and probably your startup won't be investable, so the VCs will shy away from you, and if you don't have investment and your product is not making money, your business will eventually die. and that is what happens with 99% of the companies that's why like you know most of the companies fail even in my experience like of all the companies that i've built right two companies have failed and two companies have worked so my ratio has been 50 50% right and probably that's the reason where like you know when i failed i probably did some similar mistakes too so there are a few questions in the chat box now so right one is coming from yash so i cool he wants to ask that how to minimize the monetary risk in the start uh, i think the biggest best way to like you know reduce the monetary risk is by like you know finding customers who can pay for your product right if if there are customers who are willing to pay for your product and services you don't have any risk right there's no additional capital required you just take that money and build your company and serve more customers that's the the biggest risk in any startup is like you know you take money from investors and you end up failing right okay i mean like investors don't ask for their money back but like you know that's that's that kind of creates a reputation in the market that like you know, you took money from an investor and you failed right that's that's not a good thing to have these days like you know uh, the wave in the country is uh, very different right now where people are raising hundreds of millions of dollars and like you know celebrating but i think like you know the best way is to like you know build a business that actually can last uh, that has proven unit economics and uh, is uh, like you know making good revenues and running profitably i mean like just look at the best companies like you know for example zeroda zeroda is one of the best platforms for trading never raised any capital hundreds and thousands of crores in profit every year right uh, celebrating that kind of companies makes a lot of sense than compared to the likes of paytm where like you know uh the founder says like you know that our business model is still work in progress i mean like you're a listed company right you cannot afford to make such comments but still i mean like uh, there are there are there are people who trust uh, the goals and the visions so yeah uh one more question that is coming up from uh, siddhi deshpande she wants to ask that what is your mantra of success being a successful entrepreneur uh 
I think like, you know, I, I don't consider myself successful because like, you know, uh, my best piece is yet to come. So like, and it's still a, a work in progress. Uh, and I think same is success, right? I mean, like success is always work in progress. You can never define what success really means to you unless you experience it. And once you experience it, you always want more, right? So the road to success is always work in progress. Like, you know, it's a highway that you have to construct every day and wake up to a new more milestone, a new better milestone, and just like, you know, keep achieving those. One more coming from Nikhil Shende. He wants to ask how to positively roll up if someone neglects to invest in your product. I think people will neglect. Uh, people will actually uh, like you know refuse to invest in your company. It happens all the time. Uh, of all the of possibly hundreds of investors you will reach out to, right? Probably ninety will re uh, reject your idea, right, on day one because investors aren't the one who builds the company. It's you. So you need to have that trust in your own product that yes, you can actually build it to a sustainable business. And uh, like, you know, uh, no matter if someone invests or not, you can actually make it up, uh, you know, make it up a great business. And uh, like, you know, to be honest, I have uh, like, you know, uh, I have tried and like, you know, failed in raising money a lot of times, right? Although I've, in my past experiences, I've raised millions of dollars, but like, you know, to raise that money, I've approached hundreds and hundreds of investors of which multiple, most of the people have rejected. Only few trusted on the ideas or the team that we have. Right. So I think uh, in the initial days, when you approach people, people don't know you. Right. It's uh, you. It's bound to get rejected. But the best way to handle a rejection is by asking questions like, you know, you can ask the investor saying like, you know, I understand probably you don't find my idea investable right now. But what are the metrics that you think if I can achieve, you will be willing to reconsider. Right. You can ask them like, you know, I understand you don't want to invest right now. But is there someone in your network who can probably participate in our round or invest in our company right now at this stage of time? Do you know someone who can help us achieve a specific metric whom we can hire, right? So you can always like, you know, turn around the conversation from negative uh, to a positive where the investor will also think, okay, like, you know, probably these guys are there for a long run and you can ask them questions uh, that kind of matters most for your company's business. Uh, how important do you think uh, is uh, the involvement of a mentor in, in the process of uh, building up a startup? I think like, you know, uh, not just startups, I think like, you know, in every angle, like, you know, you need to have mentors, right? You know, and uh, the idea of mentor can actually vary from uh, situation to situation. Like, for example, in, in most of the cases, I think there's so much data available on internet and especially on YouTube, right? Uh, whatever problem you are facing, someone out there has faced it, created a content about it on YouTube, a video that you can actually watch and learn, right? You don't necessarily have to reach out to the best business guys to become your mentor, right? You, you can just go on internet and just listen to some podcast or some videos and solve your problem e easily. Like, you know, you, you can always have hybrid mentors who are available on YouTube for free, right? And that kind of saves a lot of time. But yes, there are certain cases where probably <clears throat> a lot of things are not mentioned on YouTube or, or not available on YouTube. And for that, you probably need a sounding board which whom you can trust and who, can will, who, who are willing to commit specific number of hours every week or every month for your company in return of some points of equity, right? So obviously, like, you know, those, uh, those kind of mentors really matter. And uh, like, you know, I think uh, th those things are pretty important too. Now, because you have been through uh, several ventures of uh, uh, startups, when you approach uh, for a new startup uh, uh, to an investor, does it impact uh, you in terms that that means that does the investor wants to know something about your previous startups and their success and failures yep. Yep. and uh, uh, on that basis is the judgment uh, uh, does the judgment vary on that basis no i think uh, 
I, I, what I'll say is like, you know, best of the uh, investors that are there in the market, be it angels or anyone, like, for example, like, you know, in Nagpur itself, like, you know, we have one of the best investors, which is Mr. Shashikan Chaudhary. Like, you know, uh, he's a renowned and renowned LP in a lot of funds in, uh, in the country. Like, you know, so he uh, or people like uh, uh, him, like, you know, these are the smart investors. Like, you know, the only question that they will always ask you is like, you know, what did you learn? Like, you know, if the company didn't work, what did you learn? And uh, like, you know, and if you have learned something and if you are trying to implement the same thing, right, by learning something. So I think like, you know, these are the guys who will respect that, right? Uh, the best of the investors respect failures and what you learned from your failures, right? So uh, when, when I went out in the market, like, you know, the best thing was like, you know, after Veda Labs, uh, I took a almost a year and a half uh, sabbatical where I worked with multiple folks as consultant, as, as a director marketing, as uh, various ways, like, you know, even invested in a couple of startups, right? Uh, what I realized is like, you know, it's always better to have a repo with people, right? Uh, you don't necessarily only approach investors when you're raising money probably you can always have a relationship with them because eventually in the long run relationship matters. Right. And uh, like, for example, even if like, for example, Nikhil asked, like, you know, if someone neglects or rejects to invest in your startup, right. I think even they reject you, like, you know, every month, keep on sharing updates with them. Right. It's always good to keep them updated. Right. No investor will directly say no. They will always say, okay, keep us posted probably hit a uh, hundred thousand users or this much in revenue. And we'll probably consider at that time and keep them updated. Like, you know, keep them updated about your growth. I think that that really helps. There's one question that is coming from Yash again, as you talk about Paytm, but when we see Bharat pay, it is so much profitable and successful as of now, what make it successful through though it has very less features as compared to Paytm. Hmm. Uh, I think like, you know, uh, comparing Bharat Pay and Paytm will be uh, a very wrong uh, phenomena because uh, like, you know, Bharat Pay is not a wallet like Paytm is, right? Bharat Pay is a merchant company, right? Uh, they provide QR codes, they provide loans to uh, merchants they don't work into the uh, like you know same business as paytm right uh, when when there were qrs in the market bharat pay uh, everyone was charging merchant 2% transaction fee and bharat pay was the first person who kind of like you know introduced a unified qr right and introduced a 0% commission that 0% commission like you know is something that still keeps bharat pay at losses bharat pay is not profitable right now right? Bharat Pay is at a huge loss, but yes, because they are a bank, there is a projected revenue growth that they will have because they will, they are distributing loans at a higher rate right now at a higher pace. And that is something that will allow them to like, you know, increase their revenues and increase their profitability. Like for example, currently Bharat Pay runs multiple products. One of them is uh, post pay. I'm not sure if you, any one of you use that, and then after that, there is a 12% club, right? The, these are two products where from post pay people are borrowing money and in 12% club, people are investing money where Bharat Pay is promising 12% year on year interest, right? Now these loans and these borrowers is what something making Bharat Pay earn money. Bharat Pay loses money on every transaction that it processes, right? No transaction is free. If you will study, like, you know, there is always a transaction fee on UPI, which we don't understand as a consumer. We, because we get like, you know, the money that we send to each other, there is a transaction fee that, uh, the people like, you know, who are, uh, processing those payments actually bear for you. Uh, one, uh, one more thing I would like you to speak upon, uh, and something about the, what is the importance of uh, innovation or uh, having a successful startup, you can comment on that. Yep, I think uh, I think uh, innovation is anything that uh, allows you to do something existing in a better way. Like you know, probably like you know, if if uh, the process to travel hundred kilometers by a bike 
takes you like let's say three hours and you can just reduce that travel time by like you know 30 percent you have an innovation in your hand right so i think if if your product can actually pass that substance of like you know degree of in uh, like you know uh, improving customer experience or customer efficiency like you know innovation kind of makes a huge difference and the best example for uh, innovation and uh, customer experience improvement is uh, like you know how we book train tickets right now right earlier like you know if you will recall 10 years back booking a train ticket was a hassle you have to go to railway station at 5 am and stand in a longer queue to book a train ticket right that's not the case today like you know you can get up in the morning and just book it from ircTC right so now that is the degree of uh, like you know innovation that makes a difference right from an experience that was painful time taking and like you know uh, very hassle uh, like you know hassleful to an experience that is completely hassle free that is the uh, like you know level of innovation that is required if you want to ex- improve on something existing innovation happens on something existing discovery happens on something very new so discovery obviously is very important like you know people keep on discovering new algorithms and new products which kind of makes them the best in the world right and innovation makes it uh, difficult because like you know everyone can say okay i make it 10% better no one really cares 10% better like you know you have to make it a multiple folds better and then people will easily realize it one more thing uh, uh, because you come from the ai ml background nowadays there are uh, there are several companies which are mushrooming up with uh, some or the other solution which has the ai ml uh, based solution to offer yeah so uh, what do you think that uh, is the indian market uh, good enough for uh, such companies to last longer or because it's a continuously evolving field do you feel that it would be much more challenging for the indian market to sustain uh no, i think like you know there's still money in the market right uh, the news on recession i don't think it's going to happen anyways right now right uh, a lot of things depend on uh, like you know indian economy working fine so there will be a lot of money in the market so uh, if your solution actually is helpful right people will pay for it uh, with respect to like you know the products that people are building in machine learning and ai right i think more of a uh, currently india is at a stage where consumers day to day users like us are not ready to adapt to artificial intelligence right we hardly use siri every day like you know like even if you have an iphone we don't use google now or siri right we use it for basic purpose like set an alarm or like you know open a map or something like that right so consumer base is not uh, ready to adapt to ai as of yet but businesses they are like you know businesses have to deal with a lot of data businesses have to deal with a lot of processes that are time consuming and manual and if ai can actually automate that if ai can reduce those time taken for executing that particular process i think businesses will be willing to pay tons of money because that will improve their human efficiency right and they can consume those labors for multiple other uh, operations in the organization so i think like you know uh, the scope for uh, ai implementation is pretty huge if we compare it to the enterprise segment as compared to consumer segment okay, so in case you want to share some of your uh, experiences related to the product development then uh, it would be better for uh, all the participants to get an idea that how the process actually happens sure sure so i think one of the first thing that uh, like you know if if you have a product idea and if you have it validated let's just say like and as i always said the first step is always to go out and speak to someone who kind of like you know is willing to use your product a potential customer and if you have a customer base who is probably willing to use your product the next step that usually i execute on is creating wireframe of the product right i probably i'll go on a book or a, with a pen or a pencil or a, on a white board and i'll sketch out how my product is going to look or feel like right what will happen if the user actually clicks up on a particular button right what will be the user journey like you know f- from where will my user 
discover the product? How will my user get onboarded versus how will the user start using it? Right. Defining the entire user journey will give you an over and uh, like an entire overview on how it's going to work. And you yourself is, will realize like, you know, how many things are needed to be done in that product. So like, you know, the best way is like, you know, all, is always to like, you know, write it down or sketch it out so that you know what you're working on and like, you know, how realistic it is to be able to like, you know, to execute that something. So the first step is always wireframing. And once you have done the wireframe, I think uh, the second one is to like, you know, write user stories on how the user is going to use your product. And there are multiple tools that are free in the market. Like for example, for wireframing, there's a tool called Figma for like, you know, most of the designing things that you want to do. Canva is the best option that, right now. Right. And uh, like, you know, to test out if you're building something in enterprise, like, you know, which involves human conversation, you have platform like Zoom and Hangout that allows you to test your idea. Right. So I think these are the tools that you can actually use to formalize a MVP, which is a minimum viable product. Right. And test out in the market. Uh, see, many times it uh, it is uh, my experience that uh, most of the students, because we come from a non-technical uh, academic institute, right. most of the students believe that uh, uh, innovations and uh, self-entrepreneurship can be associated with only technical institutions and uh, non-technical people are not that uh, good in doing it. So sure. if you can have a comment on that, then perhaps we can make our student realize that what's the reality. Uh, definitely. I think one of the, uh, you know, one of the point is uh, I am a non-technical person. I did my electronics engineering. I don't do, I don't code, right? And most of the companies that I have built have been technology dependent. Right. What matters is how much you read about it. Like, for example, even if you come from an arts background or something, right, you still know how to use a laptop or you still know how to use a phone, right? So you are interfacing with technology every day anyways, right? So you are not technologically illiterate. The only thing that we don't do is we don't read, right? Uh, as I said, like, you know, most of the information is available for free on YouTube, right? If you want to learn how to build websites, just type to how to learn HTML, CSS, you will have multiple videos and just read and watch those videos and you will understand, right? So we need to first re remove that barrier that like, you know, you need a technical knowledge to build a company. You need a technical understanding to build a company. You don't have to have the knowledge, right? And technical understanding can be acquired by reading and learning and watching videos and reading blogs by default. Uh, I think Jayesh has a question. Uh, can I speak in Hindi, sir? Haan, haan, jayesh, binda, sir. Ji, ji, ji. So, Mirko, to first of all, both Javardas Lagra session and overall, both mm -hmm. Chalaga, sir, interesting yes. or connecting a Chijoko liquor, young generation actors just totally connecting a Chijoko liquor. Very query, yeah, mm -hmm. like my uh, CA final, maybe, or LLB at the same time, Chelra. So, hai. Uh, like my ethanol ka business, so chata. So, mm -hmm. now get uh, renewable energy jo hai, wo limiting factors hai, petrol and all that. So, we uh, renewable energy pe aaj kal shift hona hai. like mm -hmm. EV hai and all bilkul, that. Bilkul. So, it seems that ticket amount jo hai, ki ka da paisa chahiye. So, ki like 50 crores and 100 crores. Abhi, jase Nitin Gadkari ji ne bhi invest kiya BPCL and all that company ke dhwara. So, ab, mera query hai ki itna bada huge amount ek to, bhot, जो चैलेंज नहीं हो जाता है और क्योंकि ये अल्टीमेटली ट्रस्ट की भी बात है कि क्या मेरा जो मेरा आईडिया है दिमाग में वो सक्सेस होगा कि नहीं होगा तो so, इसको कैसे फेस किया जाए और दूसरी बात तो लाइक ये सेक्टर्स में जैसे अभी शार्क टैंक चल रहा है एंड तो अब ओवरऑल इस क्वेरी को कैसे एड्रेस करेंगे थैंक यू यार आई थिंक मतलब रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी एक काफी बूमिंग सेगमेंट ऑब्वियसली सबको पता है बट जो बेस्ट तरीका है इस चीज को एग्जीक्यूट करने का आई थिंक तुम्हारे स्टेज पे इज टू प्रोबब्ली फाइंड अ कंपनी जो ऑलरेडी स्पेस में काम कर रही है राइट right? एंड उस उस कंपनी में प्रोबब्ली इंटर्नशिप कर लो उस कंपनी में प्रोबब्ली 
लाइक यू नो एनी जॉब लाइक इन एनी जॉब फाइंड एनी जॉब कुछ भी कर लो वहां पे एंड जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दैट कंपनी फंक्शन लाइक यू विल बी फैसिनेटेड टू नो दैट मोस्ट ऑफ दी कंपनी ये स्पेस में जो ऑपरेट कर रही है ये लोग गवर्नमेंट लोन्स और गवर्नमेंट ग्रांट्स के ऊपर करते हैं इनिशियली राइट बिकॉज गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से बहुत पैसा अवेलेबल है एंड देन उसके पास बहुत सारे इन्वेस्टर्स है जो इस सेगमेंट में डालते हैं पैसा एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक यू नो फोकस ऑन एथेनॉल और लाइक यू नो क्लीन एनर्जी फ्रॉम दी ई वी सेगमेंट आई थिंक यू कैन स्टार्ट बाई प्रोबली लाइक यू नो लाइसेंसिंग और चेकिंग आउट बाई टेकिंग अ फ्रेंचाइजी ऑफ सम ई वी चार्जिंग स्टेशन राइट वो थोड़ा ईजी हो जाता है लाइक यू नो रेंट आउट अ स्पेस समवेयर कोई भी एक एरिया की रेंट ले लो कोई अपने घर के सामने के ग्राउंड को कमर्शियल यूज का लाइसेंस डलवा लो कि मैं एक यहाँ पे ईवी चार्जिंग स्टेशन लगाऊंगा टैक्स फ्री मिल जाएगा टैक्स फ्री लाइसेंस मिल जाएगा गवर्नमेंट की बहुत सारी स्कीम्स है राइट right? वहां पे एक ईवी चार्जिंग स्टेशन लगा दो और जस्ट चेक आउट इफ दैट रियली इज नीडेड इन दी मार्केट दैट वी लिव इन लाइक यू नो नागपुर में जरूरत है या नहीं है अगर नहीं है तो प्रॉब्लम यू विल फिगर आउट हाँ चलो ठीक है छोटे इन्वेस्टमेंट में समझ में आ गया नागपुर में जरूरत नहीं होगी बट प्रॉब्ली जहाँ पे सिटीज लाइक दिल्ली या बैंगलोर यहाँ पे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स इतने सारे घूम रहे हैं मार्केट में राइट एवरी वन एवरी पार्किंग दैट इज देयर राइट नाउ एवरी पार्किंग नीड्स एन इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जर राइट नाउ सो यू कैन प्रॉब्लली थिंक ऑफ अ सोल्यूशन कि तुम हर पब्लिक पार्किंग स्पेसेस पे इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जर्स रेंट आउट कर दो अपने पार्किंग के साथ एनी वन हु वॉन्ट्स अ चार्जिंग ऑन देर व्हीकल दे कैन बुक अ पार्किंग स्लॉट इन दैट पार्किंग लाइक यू नो जहाँ पे आपका सोल्यूशन अवेलेबल है वहां पे पार्क तुम्हारे मशीन जाके एक पार्किंग रिजर्व करके रखेगी वो कार आएगी उस पार्किंग तुम्हारे मशीन में लगा के चार्ज कर लेगी राइट यू कैन थिंक ऑफ मल्टीपल सोल्यूशन राइट अगर ये सब चीजें सिर्फ पेपर पे भी अवेलेबल है एंड तुम्हारे पास दो तीन पार्किंग वाले लोगों से कॉन्ट्रैक्ट भी हाथ में है लाइक यू नो देर आर पीपल हुर विलिंग टू फंड आइडियाज लाइक दिस बिकॉज इसमें डायरेक्ट ट्रांजेक्शन पे पैसा है लाइक यू नो यू कैन मेक मनी डायरेक्टली For every charge you say, let's say you take hundred rupees, right? Hundred rupees ka ek charge de rahe ho, two hundred rupees ka ek charge de rahe ho. You can make money directly, right? And is uh, tarikay ke tumhare multiple units ho jayenge and it becomes easier. Thank you, sir. Sure. <laughs>
Yeah, I mean, like most of the computers these days are pretty, uh, like, you know, pretty heavy. So you don't really need uh, heavy machinery unless and until you are talking about hundreds of GBs of data, right? Uh, when you start collecting data and then you want to process, then probably you need a different server. Like, you know, for us, we had uh, multiple Dell server racks in our office that used to run 24 seven, where most of the processing used to happen, where we need, used to refine our algorithms and uh, uh, like, you know, our product, right? Uh, but I think initially just to test out, I think your product is uh, like, you know, enough. And if you have, if you are a student or uh, like, you know, if you're just starting up, you can always sign up to AWS, uh, Amazon Web Services, they give you a thousand dollar credit for free, right? You can use and run machines on on cloud and just initiate those uh, tests from your computer on the cloud. So you don't really need any processing power initially. Hey, okay, that was uh, quite informative. Uh, if anybody else has some more questions for uh, Virendra sir, okay. There is one question from Yash again. Do Veda Labs provide any tools or AI to use ease out? Uh, we, we used to provide in my last company, Neuron, right? We had a tool that used to summarize all the contracts, the 50, 60 page legal contracts to two, four pages uh, document, right? We used to do that. But I think right now there's one company, I know it's in Mumbai, they do the similar work. Um, I just need to check that name. I think it's uh, Kagas or something. They, they can actually do that for you. They can just like, you know, uh, summarize all the legal documents to few pages and uh, give you a summary. Okay, I would like to ask you one thing, one last thing that uh, yeah. is it okay if, if I share your uh, contact details? Yeah, yeah. always, students? always, always, always happy to talk to people like, you know, if they have anything. Yeah. Especially Thank because you so you know, most of the students are from Nagpur, so it's always <laughs> a pleasure to speaking to folks in Nagpur. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for that uh, uh, informal interaction, I could say. Yeah. Uh, that makes uh, more of a sense. Most of the times when we are uh, arranging such kind of meetings, it's only uh, a monologue that the speaker speaks and uh, everybody, I don't know whether they listen or not. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, this was a good uh, session. I believe that uh, there were uh, several queries that were solved. Yeah. And uh, as we have got the consent from uh, uh, Mishra sir, we would be getting in touch with him uh, now and then, solving our queries and uh, shooting up questions for him. So, uh, thank you so much. It was really a pleasure having you uh, today with us. And uh, I believe that it would be a fruitful conversation for uh, all the participants here. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Similarly. Thank, thank you, sir. Thanks, thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you, sir, for providing your valuable insights and for making this session a stimulating one. Rather, your willingness to share your time and expertise in this area, it was uh, critical to the success of this lecture series. Thank you once again. Definitely. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot. So, uh, for all the participants who are still there, I would be posting a, a feedback link in, in the chat box right now. Just copy that link or follow that link and you need to submit your feedback about the two sessions that you actually attended today to get the certificate of participation. Uh, so just give me a moment. I will be posting in the chat box the link for the feedback. You can also find the link for the feedback on our YouTube channel where the same uh, session was hosted today or that was live streamed. So this is a feedback link for everyone. Kindly go through uh, and uh, send in your uh, comments over the feedback form. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am.